Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. This is a Christian Prince with you all and we greet you with the greet of peace, the greet of Jesus Christ and we welcome you to our broadcast for today. I opened my Skype today and I found a Muslim girl. Her name is Khan, Amira Khan and she is calling me all kind of names. I will show you some of what she said to me. I was listening to the show that you present and I was disgusted as a Muslim. You know, this Muslim is disgusted of what I said, but she is not disgusted that their prophet, he called us pigs and monkeys. And she is not disgusted that her prophet, he said we are the worst of the creatures. And she is not disgusted that she call us every day kuffar, which means we are evil. And she is not disgusted that the Quran says, kill the Christians wherever you find them. She is not disgusted when her prophet, he said that the Jews are the worst enemy of Allah. And if you see a Jew, even the rock, if you see a Jew behind him, hiding behind the rock, hiding the, that the rock itself will say, there's a Jew behind me, kill him. She is disgusted from me saying the truth about her prophet, but she is not disgusted from the disgusting prophet who have sex with six years old girl. She is not disgusted from a prophet who flip or split the women actually. She is over the age of 82 pieces when she's alive. I asked her to call me, but she is too coward to call. And then I said to her, Muhammad said you are half a brain because you are a woman. Don't you get sick of this? She said he never said that. Let us get them busted. We go to the Sahih Hadith and we will see and I'm sure she is listening now what her prophet he said about Muslim women. Did he say that? Absolutely. By the way, our topic today is about science and the Quran, but we don't mind to answer those poor Muslims who do you think we hate them. We don't hate you Muslims. We are fighting the filthy Muhammad who spoke hate and taught hate we are not fighting you. I don't even know who you are. As you see, those are authentic source written by you Muslims, printed by you, translated by you, and published by you. This is sunnah.com website owned and published and printed and paid by Muslims. So don't blame me for the stupidity and the bad mentality of your prophet when he look at you. Muhammad, he is saying to women, that you have a lack of intellect and because of that you will go to hell speaking only to women saying to them that because of uh, 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 because of who you are, because you are a female, you will go to hell. And he is asking them and he's saying to them, I saw that the majority of you are in hell fire. The majority of women are in hell. Why? So this is have to do with your gender. Just because you are a female, there's something wrong with you. And the majority of you, you will be in hellfire. I hope that this lady, she is listening and she will tell me if that make her sick, just because she is a female, she will go to hellfire. The men, because they are men, they will not go to hellfire. Muhammad, he did not see the majority of men in hellfire. Why? Because men are, they are good. Women are bad. There's no screen. Uh, sorry for that. Here we go. The screen is in front of you. I apologize. Jibreel did not inspire me to open the screen. Sorry. The majority of you are in hellfire. That did not make you sick. That make me sick. My mother was a wonderful woman and she never deserved to go to fire. And she had a brain of 1,000 Abdul. And I never saw people cursing as much as Muhammad actually. So if the one who cursed too much should go to hell, we start with Muhammad. 
Muhammad even he curse women just because they can't take care of them their face do you have a beard my friend Amira because if you ever take care of your face your prophet is cursing you you believe it that alone is a crime in Islam for women to do but the funny Muhammad himself he have no problem to remove hair from his body all over and do you waxing but if you do remove hair Allah curse you and Muhammad curse you and the angels curse you what kind of cult this cult is which focusing in women which is things normal to do and why what is the business of Allah if a woman she take hair from her face to the point he curse her what is what is the sin she did Allah he enjoys seeing women have a beard okay I'm just by the way I'm speaking to uh, the gentleman you know him I think many of you know him his name the apostate prophet and we just confirmed that this coming Tuesday uh, we together we will do some time together and it's going to be 3 p.m. Eastern time all right 3 p.m. Eastern time so either you can you know you see how you can watch it you can inform your friends the coming Tuesday 3 p.m. Eastern time so my friend Amira I don't hate you I'm not angry from you you call me names you are upset from me but you are absolutely wrong your prophet he don't respect you not only that even when he said that you are half a brain if you see the reason you will see how stupid it is one of the reasons you will go to hell because you have a period read carefully with me what kind of a stupid religion this religion is why the women she will go to hell because she have menstruation He blame you that because you have ministration, you have your period, that is a reason that you are not a full Muslim. And you cannot perform the same as a normal Muslim perform. So now it's your fault, and this is why you will go to hell. A woman, she asked Muhammad, and she said to him, what is our deficiency in our intellect? Hmm? What is the deficiency? What are you talking about? He said, trying to prove his point, he said about deficiency of Muslim women, isn't the testimony of two women equal to one man? So Muhammad using his own logic of his God, fake God, pagan God, that because women in Islam are not allowed to testify, and actually they are not allowed at all, by the way, the testimony of two women is equal to one man only in the case of borrowing money. But in the case of any capital punishment, even if there is a 10 billion women witness a crime, they cannot witness in the court for they are of half a brain. If you don't believe me, you can go and check all the Islamic reference and you will see what I'm saying is true. Women in a case of a crime are not allowed to witness. Even if one, one billion Muslim women, they saw the crime. You are a woman. You are a stupid, according to Islam. Uh, hello? Hello? Yes, uh, hello. my friend. How are you? Hello? Yes, do you hear me? Uh, yes, brother. How are you? I'm all right. You are the one who called me uh, yesterday, the Muslim who called me yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm Nasser Ali. Uh huh. What do you want to say to us, Nasser? Uh, I want to uh, say that uh, yesterday when I called uh, uh, in, in the live chat, many people say that, uh, you know, the Muslims, they say that uh, uh, CB give money to the Christians to talk. Uh, I just wanted to say them that uh, I'm I am I was a Muslim from uh, Pakistan, and uh, you did not give me any money, hmm. and they are liars. Well, I want my money back, my me. friend. I want my money back. Here, <laughs> let, let, let let them record it and let it go. There. I want my money back. 
my friend, let them say whatever, <laughs> whatever they want to say. Who cares? I mean, I don't care. You know, uh, uh, stupidity is amazing. But this is actually, if the Muslim says that Muslims, they take money and they leave Islam, that means Islam is bad anyway. Because what kind of religion, the follower of it, they exchange God for a, a few pennies. You know what I mean? Yes, so they are exactly, insulting their exactly. God and they are insulting themselves. They are not really insulting me because if you are willing, if if, if those people are willing, if, you know, when somebody he thinks that you took money to exchange your religion with money, that means he himself, it is an option for him. Otherwise, why it come to his mind that you will leave Islam because you know I pay you money? And since when Christian Prince is a millionaire, as you see, people they are giving me donating donation like ten bucks, fifty bucks. And what that can do i mean i have people leaving islam every day by by hundreds so if i will pay everybody money and why i want to pay you money you want to stay as a muslim stay as a muslim I mean, it's not I'm, I'm not the one is the winner here you know what I mean? <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, exactly. i know i know brother because uh, these people are crazy you know because, uh, muslims in my country also in pakistan uh if i argue with them on something they will not agree you know they they will never agree to me uh, they think they are you see, Nasser, I forgot uh, really who you are. You, you, so you, you left Islam, did you become a Christian yet or not yet? Uh, yes, I left Islam, but I'm not uh, yet Christian. I My friend, here we Christian. go, in front of everybody, as long as they are accusing me, they're accusing you that you took money. Why you don't accept Jesus, my friend? I invite yes, you right I now. I, I invite you right yes, now I, uh, to accept Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior. Yes, I think Jesus is good. Uh, as far as much I have learned about Christianity, I think it's good, but I want to learn more. All right, my friend, I will not force you. Do you want me to pay you more so you convert to Christianity? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, this is this ah, is you are negotiating about more money. Here we go. See, all right, <laughs> all right, my friend. And they are crazy. They are crazy. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, I learned a lot about uh, from you and your videos. And, okay, let us have a deal. I, I will give you five dollars and two hamburger. <laughs> no, okay. I will make it a three hamburger. No, no, no. I don't okay. want that. <laughs> okay, uh, two hamburger, three hamburger, and flying carpet. No, no? I, I, from my from my thinking, whatever, even you give me all the riches in the world, all the money in the world. Hmm. If I don't believe from heart, whatever I believe, this is not from God. This is from you. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling, and let me know anytime you feel like you want to accept Christ. I will be happy. To announce you and to yes, uh, to to yes, I, I downloaded uh, I downloaded some uh, testament uh, New Testament you said before, right? I'm trying to read it uh, as much as I can, and I will tell you maybe uh, when I read those all finish, and I will call you again, and then all right, if God friend. wins, uh, I will uh, accept Christian uh, Christianity. All right, my friend. Feel free to call me anytime you wish. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Right. Well, once uh, there is a guy, he uh, he called himself a uh, programmer or something. Uh, he came to me, he said, the Christian prince, I want uh, $300. I want my $300. I said, what 300 Who are you? He said, well, because I left Islam and I told them, you made me leave Islam. Uh, they accused me that you gave me $300 and I left Islam. I said, this is how they see Islam is in the price of a shoe. Muslims are ex ex exchanging Islam for a shoe. What three hundred dollars can do for a person? Man, I mean, this is very cheap. Uh, once, you know, I was like, you know, I, you know me. I always joke around. Like now, what I was talking to this guy, they would take it and they would record it and they would say, Christian Prince, he offered him three hamburgers. So once I was saying, give me a Muslim, I will give you five hamburger. I was saying, give me a Muslim to debate him. You know, like the one who bring a Muslim, I will give. I'm just jo joking. I'm going to give you a five hamburger anyway in the internet. So they recorded my voice. I went to a Muslim chat room, and the second they see me, the whole place will be boiling, go crazy. Christian Prince, Christian Prince, we got you busted. We have you recorded. I said in text, really, what happened? Uh, uh, play it, play it. Let us see what you record. And they play my voice saying, give me one Muslim, I will give you five hamburgers. So they said, what do you say about that? Come on, take the mic. And the old Muslim going crazy in the text, Takbir, Allahu Akbar, get him busted, Allahu Akbar. So I took the microphone and I said, you Muslims, are you saying to me that you Muslims are willing to exchange your God, Allah, and your Prophet Muhammad for the sake of a hamburger? You know? <laughs> 
Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Sir. I don't know Hi. why the sound today is not good. The sound have a uh, speak. Okay. No. What do you want? What do you want? You are the one who keeps saying to me the F word always, right? Yeah, sorry. Each time you, I get you in the corner, I spank you, I change your diaper, I give you a, bow, a powder for babies, and then I put the diaper together, and then you say to me, if you, why you always say, if to, if to me, after I get you busted. What's wrong? Can't you speak like a human being without saying the F word? Okay. Do you, yes. rep do you repent? Do you repent from saying the F word? Yes, I repent. Okay, is saying the F word is something bad? Yes. So why your prophet, he use it? I don't know. No, you tell me. You just said it's bad. That's mean your prophet is a bad person. What do you think? No. What do you mean? No, you just said using the F word is a bad word. It's bad. Yes. Okay, here we go. Your prophet, he said in Arabic, as you see it in Arabic, Aniktuha. Did you F her? What do you say? Do you agree that your prophet and the Muslim try to cover the shame of Muhammad using filthy language? They say, did you have sexual intercourse with her? It doesn't say that. It says literally in Arabic, did you F her? So what do you say? Are you there? Yes. You want to call, a, you wanna call a friend? No. Okay, why are you are calling me today then? <clears throat> uh, the topic is about the science in the Quran, right? <clears throat> mm. Guys, is the, is his sound coming good to you? Because I noticed that even the first caller, his voice was not good. Let us see why. I'm not sure. <clears throat> because this guy, his voice not good, at least for me. Is his voice coming coming good for you, or is shaky? Sound is bad. Okay, let me see what's what's going on. I, I will call you back, Abdul. Okay, just give me a minute. Yes. Okay. Yeah, something wrong with the sound. <coughs> Let us see. Let us test the audio and see. I think there's something wrong with the audio in Skype because even the ring I feel it's not right let me see let me restart my Skype and see what's wrong Okay. Mm, let us do voice testing. I think there is something wrong. Maybe now is better. Mm. All right, let us see. Call me back, Abdul. Or I will call you, no problem. Yes, so what do you want to say to us about the scientific miracle of the Quran? Yes, uh, chapter 24, verse 40. Chapter 24, verse number 40. What it says there? Go ahead. It says that there is darkness in the deep sea, mm -hmm. that there is no light, and it says mm -hmm. that the deep sea is covered by waves, and mm -hmm. above these waves that covers the deep sea are other waves. Oof, 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 oof. All of this it says in that verse? Yes. Man, okay, show me where in the verse it says that. Read the verse for me. Okay. Actually, I think we can find it here in this website. So we can love together. <clears throat> Is that the one you are saying, internal waves? Yes. All right. Okay. Where in the verse it says that? Chapter 24, verse number 40, correct? Yes, it says okay. that the dark sea mm. is covered by waves, and ab above these waves are other waves. Mm. 
where is the dark in dark sea? It always says Kazulumati fi Bahrain Luji. You know when the when the uh when the ocean is going crazy, we have a storm, then it's very yeah. hard to see what is underneath and the waves coming after wave. That's what it says. It doesn't speak about down yeah. where is okay, where it says there is waves underneath down now, 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 down, down in deep. Where it says that do you see the word do you see the word deep? Do you see the word? Yes. Do you see the word? Is the word deep? It, it, it's yeah. Where there are like darknesses within and deep. Sea. Where, 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 what, what deep sea? Where is the word deep sea? Where is the word deep? Hmm. I will show you. I will show you your Muslim Muslim translation. The Muslim they are they are the word deep, but in Arabic we cannot find it. Same time, let us say it's speaking about deep. Okay. Is it is it secret that the more you go down, the more the sea is dark? No, but you uh, never dive. You never dive before, my friend. You never dive even in swimming pool. It's very well known. Even in swimming pool, if you go down, the more you go down, it is more dark. Okay. Now, he says the depth of a, a darkness of a vast deep ocean. Where is the word? Where is the vast deep ocean? Where is the word ocean? Actually, it doesn't even say the word ocean. Or what the Quran is okay. Let us go and see the interpretation for the verse. Do you agree with that? Oh, no. You understand that. no, 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 no. You see, why the Muslim don't want why the Muslim do not want the interpretation for the Quran? I mean, what's wrong with the interpretation? Are you saying to me that you Muslims are fabricating your own interpretation? Okay, for example. No, for example, why why you don't want for example, for example, for example, why you don't want your in interpretation for the Quran to see what this is mean? If it's mean as you said, then it's mean as you said. If it's not, it's when you Muslims are fabricating stories. Okay, let me just give you an example. No, don't let me give you that example. Why you don't want to show the interpretation for the verse? What's the problem? Give me your reason. Because we cannot understand it. It's really that the deep sea is covered by waves. My friend, it, what, what is, or what says that in the ocean there's waves come after waves, never ending. It's no. not about it's not it's not about down dark etc. This is always a fabrication. And it says in the says in the top of that, and what make it more dark? Hold on, hold on. Just to show you that this is not about the deep sea darkness, because it says, hold on. Does it say here that when there's a cloud, it will make it darker? Do you see the word the cloud? Yes. Okay. So what way what will make the sea darker is the cloud. But the deep sea do not need a cloud to get dark. The deep sea is dark already, regardless if there's a cloud or not. I don't know why the sound in this Skype is bad. Hold on. Try now. Speak now. Talk. I don't know what's wrong. Hold on, hold on. I, I don't. Your voice is really bad. I cannot. There's something not right about the sound. That's weird. Talk, my friend. Talk. I will try to fix the sound. Keep talking. Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, I don't care about the darkness in deep, uh, deep sea. I care about the eternal waves. Okay. What is the eternal wave? It says, uh, and then in the top of uh, like wave coming on the top of other wave. Is it normal when we see the sea? Yes. I, I will show you. I will show you the sea in the screen. And you tell yes. me, do you see a wave coming in the top of the other wave? This is a very normal uh, statement to say. There's no science there. It says it clearly that wave come after wave, wave come after yes. wave. And they come in the top of each other. Yes, they come in the top of each other. So the first wave is over. The second wave come after it right away. A wave in the top of the other wave. Do you see them? Do you see them in the screen? Do you see them in the screen? Wave in the top of the other wave. Where it says where it says that this is happening in the deep sea. My friend, hmm. it says that the, the waves are covered. They are top uh, of, uh, of each other. Yes, in the top of each other. Don't you see them in the screen? They are in top of each other. So there's a wave. There's a wave come. And listen, there's a wave came, and then there's other wave coming after it. And that that second wave will be stronger than the first wave. So it's going to be higher and in the top of it. Where is the science here? No. Where is the science? It says that the deep sea is covered by my friend. Okay, my friend. Where is the where is the word deep sea? 
If we change the translation, you will see. No, this is about this is about a, a sea which is going crazy, a storm sea, a stormy sea. Where we let us change the translator. You will see how the translation change. Show me proof. Hmm. Let us see. What does this uh, this word mean? Let us see. Let me see. Do you see it? Extremely bad. Let me see. Extremely bad. And then here, the translate, it's very, very deep. But if we go in the Arabic, if we go in the Arabic, we will see that this is, okay, my, my friend, my friend. Let us say, okay, it, it, it's, it, isn't it that the sea is deep anyway? Let us say it says the word deep. Isn't it yes. the sea is deep? Okay, so what the verse is saying, the verse is saying that there is waves come in the top of each other. And then yes. this is a deep sea, right? Okay, but all the sea are deep anyway. So where is the eternal waves? Where where are they? Where are they, the eternal waves? How you can come? How you come to this conclusion? No, it doesn't say coming. It says. Okay, hold on. Let it, let us let us go together. Let us let's examine how how the cloud in the top of the sea will make the sea dark. If this, this is the is deep sea. It's in the deep sea. This is about eternal waves. No problem. So this is not about the deep sea. It's about eternal wave. Where is the eternal wave? It says they come in the top of each other. Yes, no, it doesn't say that they are coming. It says that they are in a deep sea covered by uh, no, 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 my friend, my friend, Yarshahu, Yarshahu, it's in the top of it, in the top of it, Yarshahu, read the word in Arabic, Yarshahu, Yarshahu. Okay, let me get you busted. Hold on, let, let us see, let us see how the Muslims' interpretation they give interpretation for this so we can get the right meaning in Arabic. Hold on, first. Uh, no, no, you don't want you don't want to see the interpretation in Arabic because that will show everybody that you Muslims are are trying to fabricate a story is not there, right? This people in that time didn't know about the big bang. ah. So at that time they do not know. Now we know. So now because we know, we change the meaning of the Quran. So at that time we have different meaning because we do not know. Now we know, right? We now discover. Okay. Look how they how look they first of all. This is first of all. This is. And a parable. This is not even about science. This is not about even the sea. Speaking about no, the sin set up, it's about the sin of mankind. This is about the sin of mankind. This is not about this is not about the sea itself. But read carefully with me. Shut up. Uh, read with me. Read with me. Okay. Read with me. Read, read with me. Read with me. Let's say. Okay. And, okay. And there is uh or it is those who believe their evil deeds are. Manif manifold darkness on deep sea covered by a pillow above which is uh, above which is below be below sorry uh, uh, there is another uh, 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 below and above which is the second below there are cloud those being manify um, uh, 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 manifold layers of darkness in the top of each other in the darkness of the sea uh, 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 the the darkness of the first uh, 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 below of the darkness of the second so there is there is first and there is second. What is the first? There is a first wave and then a second wave. The first wave come in the top and the second wave come in the top. No, does it come in the top? No. Okay, let us see. Here we go. Why you don't read with me? Let me see the screen. I can't read. Oh, you don't see the screen. Okay, go ahead. Read. I can't read. Read it. I can't read. You cannot read? Why you cannot read? Yes, yes, I can read now. Hmm. With the air darkness on the vest, and so see he says a uh, similitude of you know in the heart of the disbelievers it's like darkness in the depth of very deep sea. They covered him a wave about you see yeah, see it's it supports the claim. How it support the claim? Go ahead, read. It says the very deep sea therefore is covered by a wave which is another wave. Mm. Where is where is the where, the where is the wave located? In the deep sea. No. It says yes. that the deep sea is about the darkness, supposedly, right? No, hmm. it says the depth of the very deep sea. Therefore, the depth of the very sea. Okay, what will happen? And then it says, there covered him the wave above which is a wave. Yes. So where is the, where is the wave? The wave in the deep sea or cover in the top? Wave in the deep sea. The sea is a deep anyway. And then there is a wave covering each other in the top of the sea. No, it says... That, the, that these waves are uh, okay hold on hold on as long as you are talking about the eternal wave let me ask you according to the quran is the water salty water of the sea is divided from the fresh water of the earth no 
It says there's a land between them. There's a land between them, but don't you see yeah. that this is a mistake? No. How is that? Because the water of the sea is the source of the fresh water. Because they don't uh, prostate. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what the Quran is saying. The Quran says that the fresh water and the salty water they don't mix. So as long your God is knowledgeable about the sea, as you claim, how he no, come? No, it, how come he do not know that the fresh water and the salty water, they are not two seas, and he claimed that they are sea. What? Does your Quran claim that the fresh water and the salty water both are sea? Yes. How how the fresh water is a sea? Because it's uh, it's part of the ocean. The fresh water is part of the ocean, but the Quran says that they are divided and they will never even touch each other. Oh, it says that they will never uh, prostrate. Uh, they will never go beyond the land. What beyond the land? Read, read. Okay, they will not go beyond the line, land. But yes. that that's mean there is. Do you see the word here? The same word is used in the other one. It's it's used here. This is two seas. And your God, he think that the fresh water is a sea. Where is the sea of the fresh water? What do you mean? Where yeah, we can find, as long your God is expert about sea and dark sea and the internal waves, where we can find the sea of the fresh water? Can we call the fresh water a sea? Yes. Where? Where, where? Have you ever heard of somebody saying the sea of a fresh water? Where we get this from? Give me the name of the fresh sea water where we can find it. Where is the sea located? I don't know. Okay, so here your God is mistaken, but there your God is making a miracle according to you. So your God is, is speaking about eternal waves, but here he is claiming that the sea is two sea. There's a fresh water sea and there's a salty water sea. And not only that, he claimed that they will never meet together. They are forbidden to meet. There is ban between them. So this is a stupid mistake because all of us, we know the cycle of water, that all of it is coming from the ocean anyway. So the water will vibrate from the ocean by the heat of the sun, became a cloud, and then the cloud moved in the top of the land, and then the land will receive the rain, and then the rain go down at the ground, and then go down all the way to the ocean or to the lakes. So there is no two seas, and they are not forbidden from meeting. But because your God is ignorant, he think that the two seas are separated totally. This is why this one stay fresh forever, and this one stay salty forever. So your prophet, he claimed that according to his knowledge, according to his God, we have two seas. One is salty and will stay salty forever. And one is a fresh, will stay fresh forever. And Allah, he forbid them from meeting together or to mingle together. Is that correct? Forever? Hmm? Yes, forever. It says they are banned. Do you see it? They are forbidden. There's forbidden. That's it. They are forbidden from meeting each other. So how do your God, the one is expert according to you with the external waves or internal waves, he could not get something like this straight. Here we go. This is about the sea. <clears throat> is the fresh water banned really from meeting the salty water? They cannot, yes. they are forbidden. How, how is that? You never heard of the rain, how the cycle of the rain is? You never heard yourself? Let us see. Let us let us search in Google for for a drawing will show us the cycle of the rain and everybody will laugh at your Quran and see here the horrible mistake. The Muslim they try to 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 fabricate knowledge in the Quran, and suddenly their God is expert in eternal sea and eternal waves and the deep sea. Everybody, you see, all those who live in Jeddah they are divers, and all of them they knew that when you go you go deep is going to be dark. Anyone knows there is not is. You do not need to go deep 100 no. meter. If you go no. only, if you go only 15 meter down, less actually than 10 meter down, you will see it's getting dark. Now let us see. No. Hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we go and search in Google, we will find the following about the rain cycle. Anyone, a kid, this is the teach what what they teach kids in school. Hold on, shut up, shut up. Yes, I believe you. I believe you, but I don't care about that. No, I care about that because this is showing me a mistake. There's no way your God he is teaching, teaching, uh, teaching uh, about science. Yet he do not know a simple thing like this how it works. 
this is how the cycle of the rain happened so how your God is a smart but yet he says something stupid like this your God he never heard of the cycle of the water yes there's also water cycle on the Quran where okay uh, just give me uh, two minutes to hmm. reach I will give you te ten hours <clears throat> okay hmm. we just showed you that it's forbidden my friend what you would do with the forbidden one I don't know mm, you don't know I know that's mean your prophet he's got himself busted because if there's one of the if, if this one is mistake it's to mean everything is uh, else is a mistake God cannot be mistaken in one thing and right in one thing he's God he cannot be stupid in this and smart in that so don't tell me I do not know the fresh water is not forbidden from meeting the salt salty water that is a stupid statement to say not only that your God, he speak about the hail. Do you know where the hail is coming from? Hell? The hail, the hail, the ice. Where is the ice, according to Islam, is coming from? From the clouds. From the cloud. Is yes. it? Is it? Doesn't say in the Quran from mountains in the in the in the heaven. Yes, what well, Allah says hmm. when uh, we send down rain, Allah is stacking up the clouds of hmm. each other, and it hmm. becomes like mountains in the form of mountains. Let us see. Let us see. Down. Okay, I know that you are going to quote for me this one, so we can laugh together. According to the Quran, it says the opposite of what you are saying. The Allah. Oh. Uh, here we go. Your God saying that in the heaven there is mountains where there is ice, and Allah He break ice from those mountains. The heavens. Oh, hold on. Yeah, in the heaven there's in mountains. The hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, in the heavens, yeah, in the heaven there's mountains. Uh, <clears throat> read with me carefully and love. How your God he says such a stupid, you know, a thing like this. What's the mistake? The mistake here, he claimed that there is mountains of hail in the sky and he cut the eyes from it no it's it's just a metaphor it's not a so that suddenly now it's a metaphor a second ago it was science i know i, I just told you allah says my friend Quran, he's you see you see the one the verse you gave me supposedly it's a metaphor but you muslims you make it as science the one about the ocean is about the metaphor of the evil but you muslim you made it science and you are the one now he's quoting this one for me to speak about how the cloud is is generated right so the same the same yeah, yeah. verse you are using to me to see how the cloud is generated and now the second I show you something stupid in it you say it's a metaphor how your God how your God he say that in the in the heaven there's mountains of hail how your God he say is such a stupid mistake that in the heaven there's mountains of hail explain to me do you see the word layers of clouds hmm. And then he sends down rain and the rain is uh hmm. hills and then in the form of mountains. where it says the rain is hell is here where is this it says he said read carefully he okay, sends okay. down read with me he sends down from the heaven mountains where they're in hail mountains there is mountains of hell do you want to show you the interpretation there, it's, do you do like you, to see the interpretation so we can love together okay do you really think that these things are really actual mountains this is what it says. No, listen. Okay. It says here, but you not see how Allah makes them in layers mm. and sends down the rain from uh, between them. Mm. He sent down uh, from the uh, from the sky mountains mm. where it's hell. Mm. In the form of mountains that uh, when the clouds are in layers, they are in the, they are in the form of mountains. Mm. In the form of mountains, but that's not what it says. Yeah. Where, where it says that? Show me. Here we go. I'm reading with you. Where where it says no? It says no. No, it doesn't say that. Let us read. Let us read the interpretation, my friend. Let us read the interpretation and love together. Friend, if the interpretation agree with you, it's mean you are no. being honest. If not, then the interpretation is is going to get you busted. Chapter no, twenty four, verse. Oh, shut up. Chapter twenty four, verse number forty three. Let us go. Okay, but hold on, hold on. Yeah, we will go to the tafsir. Twenty four, forty, forty three. You hate tafsir, right? Okay, here we go. This is just a few few verses after the verse you choose for me from the same chapter you choose for me. We'll get your prophet busted. Here we go. And then he said, he sent down from the heaven mountains wherein is hail. He sent hail, read carefully with me. He sent down hail from mountains in heaven. Do you see it? Not cloud-like mountains, 
what the cloud like mountain it says he sent down hail from mountains in heaven it's very clear there's no car there's no like in similar or the likeness no it said no, he, he said he said you, do you want me to show you Ibn Kathir now as long we are talking about hail and rain and you know what about the thunder how Islam considered the thunder is it true that the Quran said that the thunder is an angel yes Allah only understands that okay how the thunder became an angel in Islam as long you are mr. science who speak about hail and rain and waves and sea and water how the thunder became an angel like I said, only Allah understands. Okay, so now only Allah understand, and His understanding is a stupid, my friend. None of my business. How in the world you Muslims believe in such a garbage that the that the thunder is an angel? And why your book says that the uh, stars uh, uh, they they sing for God? Uh, this is metaphorical. This is not uh, about the stars singing, but this is not metaphorical. Here you are saying that the thunder is an angel. I have no I have no problem to say everything sing for for the Lord the birds the, the grass everything but this is this is nothing to do with the this is actual thing which means everything glorify because when I see the grass as a green and beautiful I glorify God for it's so beautiful and this is his mate but here you are saying it clearly that the angels literally are thunder yes okay so how that can be Understand. And not only that, they ask your prophet about the 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 thunder or the the fi the fire belt. He said he beat the cloud with it. Do you believe that all, the angel, the Mister Angel Thunder, he beat the cloud with his fire belt? Yes. Really? Yes. Mm, okay. Read with me carefully. And the thunder. This is an angel who is in charge of the cloud, uh, driving them. Why? While he constantly no, proclaiming no. his praise. Shut up. That is, he Allah. says, a glory to be to, 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 to Allah through his praise. Actually, not only that, according to other interpretation in Arabic, it says that the thunder is an angel who is charged in, in, in cloud. Yes, but he have 140,000 thunder work with him. They are small thunder. They are angels. And when he moved, they ask how he make, uh, why, the, uh, why the thunder sometimes show uh, 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 like uh, two sound or like a uh, reaction. So he explained, he said, when he moved his right hand, there's 70,000 angels in the right hand. They scream, say takbir, Allahu Akbar. And then when yes. he moved his left hand, the other 70,000 angels, they say takbir, Allahu Akbar. And you agree with that? Yes, Allahu Akbar. Hmm. So how, how you speak about science and you have a donkey, his name is Muhammad, saying to you that the angel is a thunder. Muhammad is a prophet, not a donkey. Well, how, this is what donkey says. There's nobody want to believe that angels are thunders. And the fire we see from the thunder is the fire belt. He lead the cloud with it. Yes. How do you agree with that, Mr. It's Science? Just, uh, you see, I'm trying. Okay, where you learned? Where you learned? Did you go to school? Yes. Okay, what they taught you in the school about about the thunder? As long as you went to school before. As when the rain and the clouds get hot, then uh, thunder no. is did strikes. The, so okay, but did the school teach you that the thunder is an angel? No, Allah only understands. Hmm. So Allah, He have a wrong understanding of the thunder. Which one have wrong understanding? When Allah, Allah says, or the when Allah says uh, the earth hmm. is on the back of a whale, only Allah understands how. When Allah says the earth is a cradle, only Allah. So, understands so you agree that the science of Allah that is the earth is in the back of the whale. Allah only understands. Yeah, but uh, but your God, He taught you that that the earth is in the back of the whale, and this is science. Yes. Okay, so you you call me to say to me that the Quran speak no, about no, internal no, no, no. waves. Hold on, you call me to talk about the internal waves, and then now you are saying to me, okay, we have a waves and we have internal waves, but we have the earth. All of it is in the top of a whale, but he is in the sea. Where is that? Where is the whale? Is it's it's a way only Allah understands. It's not actual. My friend, you keep you keep saying you keep saying to me the same repeated story. But I am saying to you, the whale which is carrying the earth according to you, located where? Is in the sea or in the sky? The sea. Okay. So now we have internal deep uh, uh, ocean as you claim in the Quran. If we go down there, we will find the earth or we will find the whale and the earth will be in the top of it. 
Are you eat? What? 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 You want to call a friend? My friend, hmm. are you even uh, listening to what I say? Yeah, I'm listening to what you say. You said nothing. You said to me only that the Earth is in the top of the wheel. Yes, it's hmm. the only way only Allah understands. Hmm. But how that? How how the Earth became in the top of the wheel? My friend, I literally just told you one second ago. You told me what? You told me the earth in the top of the wheel. It's the way only Allah understands. Okay, the way how Allah understands that the earth is in the top of the wheel. I mean, what kind of intellect your God he have? Can we just get the, to another topic? No, let us finish first. As long as you mention the wheel stuff. Where we can find in the Quran the story of the wheel, do you know? No, I don't know. You do not know. Can we go no. there? Is that okay if we go there? Yes. Okay, let us go there. So if we go and to try to find the science of Allah, you see, you are you are leading us to different, all of them, they are leading in the same topic. We are still speaking about the sea, which is good. So let us see what, how Islam teach about the whale story. Okay. Hmm. If we go and see what the Muslim, they say about such a madness, I want you to read with me carefully. Can you read it for us, please? And on the letters of the alphabet, God knows best. But read now, read now. Right. <coughs> From this narration on the authority of Ibn Abbas that he said regarding the that he says regarding interpretation of Allah says noon, he says Allah spells by the noon, which is the whale that carries the earth on the back back well in the water so what continue and beneath which is the bull and under the bull is the rock and under the rock is the dust and none knows what is the Lucia and the, the name of the bull is Bahamut uh, and some say its name is Tahut or Leona the well in, it's in a sea called Atwat and it is like a small bull and a huge sea. The sea is in a large rock whereby there is four. Okay, let us let us stop. Let us stop here. So your God Allah, He is saying to us by His Majesty Science or Majestic Science that there's a there's a whale, his name is Mr. Noon, and he is carrying the earth in the top of it. Do you agree with that? Yes. No. No, you are the one who mentioned that to me a second ago. Now you're saying you don't agree with that? It's, it's a metaphor only Allah understands well, how this became metaphorical it says here 4,000 cracks there is a ball what is the ball what is the whale present in a, in a metaphorical world of Islam when Allah says the earth is a cradle it's a way only Allah can understand hmm so how you say that this is science then when suddenly you became a person who understand the Quran and when you want only Allah can understand the Quran here we go this is your Ibn Abbas the cousin of Muhammad explaining the verses saying that noon is a whale carrying the earth <clears throat> yes and you are the one who mentioned to me that the earth is carried by a whale just a minute ago yes okay so explain to me here we go i'm going to draw for you in the screen a whale and you explain okay. to me how this happened how the whale is carrying the earth here we go give okay. me details okay. please okay. give me okay. give me details give me details here we go we have we have here a whale big whale huh okay here we go and this is Mr. Whale here, and he's smiling. Now, in the top of him, we have the earth. We have mountains, we have Himalaya, we have China, we have India, we have lakes, we have rivers. All of them, they are in the top of Mr. Whale. Okay. Now, under the, the whale, there is, a, there is a bowl. So now we have a cow is carrying a male cow, Carrying by its two horn, the fish. Doesn't it say, doesn't it say that the, it is in a sea? Yeah, the, it's in the sea. They are already in the sea. But under the whale, under the whale, there is what? There is a cow. There yes. is? Okay. Uh, but, the, but it's still in the sea. Okay, no problem. It's in the sea. No problem. It's in the sea. So in the sea, we have this. We have a whale and we have a cow. And the cow have two horn, male cow. 
and this is and then we have here 4000 cracks where water coming from so is that scientific it's just a tafsir what just tafsir it's only a uh, te te theory it's not it's not confirmed okay hold on let this not confirmed let us say the Quran says that the sun set in the murky water, which is the sea. Is that correct? It it says that it sets underneath Allah's throne, and Allah's throne is above the seven heavens, and it's talking about the function of the sun. Okay, hold the on, Quran hold says, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it? The Quran says hmm. the sun is in an orbit night and day long. If the sun sets in a murky spring of water at night, why does it say that it's in an orbit night and day long? Mm. Light. Let us see what the what your prophet he says about the orbit. Do you want to see? Do you like to see that your prophet get you busted yes, himself? I, okay, hold on. Yes, but I hold but on, I hold, on hold, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on. When your prophet will explain it to us. Why you want to explain it to me? Why you want to explain it to me? Here we go. This is the verse in the front of you, explained by your prophet Muhammad himself, saying. Once I was sitting, well, I was with the prophet in the mosque at the time of sunset. He said to me, Oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, <coughs> it goes. And prostrate underneath Allah's throne. And that Allah statement, and here he caught for you the orbit. So the orbit of the sun in Islam, this is the verse you are quoting for me is what is about sitting under the throne of allah now let me ask you where is the throne of allah located is it, listen is that is is that orbiting orbiting the no. or the orbit here the orbit here is is going from the a to b which is the east to the west he is talking about where the sun set do you see it it's not orbit but this is not orbit this is stupid but listen okay if the, if, if because the because set, the sunset okay, okay. is is not the sun orbiting it is the earth going around itself listen if the sun sets in the spring mm. then uh and uh it's it's at night and uh it, it goes uh at morning when the uh, sun set, uh, when the sun rises again so you agree Why with your prophet okay. that the sun okay. set in the murky okay. water do you agree with that okay okay, okay. if the sun sets in the muddy spring and, and it's night and when it's uh morning again and the sun rises why does the Quran say that the sun is in the orbit night and day long? Mm. It's it's here. It's talking about the function of the sun. It, that's why it says uh, it rises again for us. Mm, it rises again, but uh, but yes. rises again from where? How it rises again? Do the sun really in reality goes from from A to B? Is it the sun really going? He is saying where the sun said. Do you see what? Do you know what the sun says? He says it goes, i.e., travel. Yeah, the, I, I, I think it's the function of the sun. Okay, so do you, do you agree that the right, sun... Okay, right. so hold on, hold on. Do you agree, do you agree that the sun every day go from the east to the west? Do you agree with your prophet point of view? Or you yes. think or you think this is stupid? So you agree that the sun travel every day. The sun is the one is moving to make the view which has appeared to us that the sun set. You agree with that? Wait. What you want to change your diaper or what? <clears throat> what are you doing? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So he changed your diaper. Okay. So here yeah. it says he said it goes I E travel. Do you agree that the sun is the one traveling from point A to point B to make the sun set? Or this is a stupid thing to say. It doesn't say it travels in the hadith. It, it says, says that it, it says he said where it goes. Yeah, it says it goes. But okay, so who is the one is moving? Who is the one is moving? Is it the earth? Did your prophet mention anything about the earth is moving around itself? Or he said the sun is going to prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, but so who is the one is moving? It is the sun. The sun is yes. moving from the east to the west, correct? Yes. But scientifically, no, it, this scientifically, this is absolutely stupid. No, it's, no, and it says hmm. the sun is in the orbit night and day long. 
It's uh, the the the. the My friend, here he, here he explained. He says to you. He said to you, your prophet. He quoted the Quran. He says, and the sun and, and the sun run. Oh, oh, shut up! Shut up! And the sun runs and the sun runs night. to its fixed course. Do you see the fixed course of the sun? Do you see it? It says night. What is the fixed course of the sun? The Quran speak about the fixed course of the sun. What is the fixed it course? Says, it is it it, 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 it it does it travel every day from the east to the west. So your Quran is a stupid book, my friend. No, it says it's in the orbit night and day long. I can't what Quran what says night, orbit. what night day long. It says here that the sun every day goes and prostrate itself, and not only that, did your prophet say that the sun go and sleep inside the murky water? Yes or no? It's talking about the function of the earth. This is no, this is about the sun. He said the sun is sleep in the murky no. water, not the earth is sleep in the murky water. No, the Quran says that it's in an orbit, it's always in an orbit. Always, this is the orbit in the front of you. Here we go. The verse you are what? quoting for me what? in the front of you, idiot. It's a chapter 36, verse number 38. No. Okay, when the uh, when the sun sets in the muddy spring, is it in an orbit or is it still? So, you agree that the sun is sleep in the, in the murky water according to your Islamic knowledge? The, the fashion yes but not the actual sun itself actually to be honest with you once i saw the sun wearing a bikini no what do you mean no it's uh, here we go you said the sun is sleeping in the murky water obviously the sun is a pig and every day and every day okay every day the sun go and sleep in the murky water it's obvious no what do you mean no no hmm no, no, you keep saying no. I don't know. You see, this this is a story about the sunset in the murky water. Muhammad he stole it from a guy very well known. It's called Diwan Shu'ara al Nusraniya. You know, there's a book. It's called Diwan Shu'ara al Nusraniya, which means the poet of the Christian people. Christian people they made poetry, just poetry. Muhammad he stole their poetry from them. So there's there's a, there's a poet he said. There's a po the poet he said. فرأى مغيب الشمس عند مآبها في عين ذي خلب وثأط. So he saw, he saw, like you know, uh, he's speaking about about a great uh, uh, warrior. He says بلغ مش المشارق والمغارب يبتغي أسباب أمر من حكيم مرشدي. فرأى مغيب الشمس عند مآبها في عين ذي خلب وثأط حرقدي. So it's exactly what the Quran is saying. He arrived to the uh, to the end of the east and the west. And then he found the the reason of all reasoning, and then he found the sun sitting in a in its location, which is in a spring of a of a murky water. <laughs> this is a poetry. Muhammad he took it as it is from a Christian person, and he put it in the Quran as it is. Okay, show me uh, uh, show me reference after you uh, end your stream. A reference for what? <laughs> For the uh, for for what the guy said. Oh, you want the point? Yes. But okay. After the spring. Yeah. <coughs> okay. I will try. I will look for it. Hold on. <coughs> uh... You know Genesis is copied from the Sumerian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sumerian. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. You know what Sumerian mean? It's uh, ba uh, basically stolen. Now, what does Sumerian mean? Do you know? What? What does Sumerian mean? What? <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the book, and this is the poetry in the front of your eyes. This is your book. This is Al Kashaf, volume number three, the book of At Tawbah, the chapter of Al Kahf. Al Kafi, Al Kashaf, fi wujuhi ta'wil. And this is written by your sheikhs and saying it clearly that your prophet was nothing but a thief for sure they are not saying that there he's a thief but they are quoting for you the poet which is written by an arabic christians which is exactly the same as the quran here we go the same point i quote for you and this is actually here different they are quoting more than one point let us go with the point with the one i, I quote for you فرأى مغيب الشمس عند مآبها في عين ذي خلب وثأط حرمدي. And here they give you the interpretation. They says, أي في عين ماء ذي طين وحماء أسود. So he found it sitting in a in a in a dark uh, 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 black mud, and this is where the sun set. 
ولا تنافي بين الحمية والحمية. And he says there is no difference between the word حمية or حمية. For both they mean the same. So as you see here, the story is uh, uh, is, conf is is confirming to us that your prophet is an official thief, stole an Arab poetry of an Arab Christian, and he make it Quran, claiming that his God told him that. How you say? How you answer this? Okay, hmm. I answer. Hmm. Ahmed was Ill, uh, Ill, 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 uh, illiterate. What, what does have to do with the, with the question? Why Muhammad is yeah. copying a poetry yeah. of an okay. Arabic Christian, put it in the Quran yeah. as it is from his God? Listen, my friend, I can show you tons of things like uh, Genesis copying from the uh, Sumerian. Like no problem. So, uh, the book of Genesis is supposed to is written by Allah, isn't it? No. Hmm? Isn't no. it the Quran says that Allah He gave Musa's the book in details? My friend. No, don't tell me my friend, my friend, my friend. And now let us say, let us say what you are saying is true. Let us say that those who wrote the book of Genesis, they copy even from the alien. What does it have to do with our topic? So you are saying to me now that your God is fake. And you are saying to me, okay, your God is fake too, right? Yes. Okay, so now you have two fake gods. No, not my God. <laughs> <laughs> my friend your stupidity is beyond imagination i want to say thank you for calling me and for helping no, no, us no, no, to no, get your profit no, no. busted do you want to say anything no. uh, anything else you want to say because there's many people trying to call we we'll give you too much time yes what uh, you... chapter six uh 125 five chapter what six chapter six and he hang up chapter six what <laughs> You see, the God of Islam is very good in eternal wave. But he is wrong in everything else, according to this Abdul. I mean, how silly, how stupid this cult is. The angels are, the, the, the thunder is an angel. The hail is coming from mountains in the sky. The earth is carried in the top of a whale. And the whale in the top of the ball. And the wall, and what? The, the whale, his name is Bahamut. You know, by the way, those names, those names about Bahamut, you can find that such a thing is written even in the Old Testament, but it's not as stupid as Muhammad is saying. It's not about what Muhammad he claimed. If you search for Bahamut in Google, you will find something. And uh, we don't want Bahamut the game. You know, we want Bahamut something else. Hold on. Uh, see oh I'm trying just to clean the search engine it's giving me a hard time because now I have Arabic and English in the same time okay I'm trying to find you. Not you again, not you again. Let somebody else call. <clears throat> we have a Muslim here when I call at the sea. Don't call me again, kid. You, you spoke for an hour. I will block you. Don't force me to block you. Okay, let us give a chance for other people to call. Somebody, you're trying to call me, right? Let us see. Here we go. Okay, forget. It. Don't. So, why you call me if you don't want to talk? 
Do you see, guys? This is where Muhammad he got his madness from. This is an old Islamic drawing for the legend of Bahamut. But Muhammad here is quoting the story wrong, or the Muslims quoting the story wrong. Supposedly, that Bahamut is the one is carrying the earth, and he is in the top of the wheel. In the interpretation, it is the opposite. It is the wheel in the top of Bahamut, in the top of the uh, of the ball. So this is the earth, as you see uh, in the front of you. This is the earth. And here we have a ball, and here we have a wheel. In the old legion, even they explain why we have earthquake. Why? Because supposedly the ball he got tired, and in 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 other like uh, stories uh, uh, quotation that the earth all of it. Is in the top of the two horn or the horn of the uh, of the ball. So when he get tired, he moved the earth from one horn to the other horn, and that caused the earthquake. All right. So Muhammad obviously and his religion is based on fictions and stupidity, and yet the Muslim they speak about science, try to fabricate his stories. Now, who is a Muslim when I call us and quote for us something real, something uh, strong? Until now, we saw nothing but stupidity. This is cannot be from God. This is stupid. The thunder is an angel. The fresh water never met with the salty water, and they are banned from entering each other. And the Muslim, by the way, they fabricate videos says this is about this, the the sea water and the fresh water in the same sea. But the fact, if you go and read, you will see it says barzakh. Barzakh in Arabic mean a barrier of land. A barrier of land have nothing to do with their claims as they see as they say and as you see here the Quran in the same chapter the Muslim they try to show us what they call etern internal waves is the same chapter speaking about that the earth uh, sorry the the in, in the heaven there is mountains of hail where Allah he cut the hail from it and he threw it at us and not only that if you go down a little bit you will see another mistake in the Quran as an example Allah has created for you every animal of water. So all animals are created from water. Uh, and he used the word Dabba, which here is a mistake in Arabic because Dabba is from Yadubu. But then he continues saying, Yadubu is like you walk with your feet. You know, if you are not walking with feet, you are not doing Dabba. Dabba is somebody hitting the ground with something, which is his feet. Now, of them of every kind that goes upon the belly, and goes upon two legs and kind goes upon four legs and Allah is the one who create things for you so according to the Quran there is a creation all the creation is created by Allah and he is giving us what he created and by the way uh, when he say and of them he is telling us their category not of them is just like a samples of them is the kind which Go in uh, 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 here in Arabic. It says Yemshi, which is false because the the uh, uh, the one who like a snake they don't Yemshi. The snake they creep. They creep. The Quran used the word Yemshi, and this is a mistake in Arabic. You don't say the the, the snake walk, even in English. How you use the word Yemshi? You can take right now the word Yemshi to any dictionary and you will see the word Yemshi is somebody using his feet to walk. So here he says that Allah, he created from every, every uh, cre creatures or every animal, supposedly, from water. And then some of them, they, Yemshi, walk on its belly, which is a mistake. This is a creeping in their belly. And some of them walk in its two feet. Let us go to the English. Here they say goes. It doesn't say goes, by the way. Let's change the translation so you will see how the translators, they play with the Quran. Where it goes? Where, where you got the word goes? It says walk, not goes. Suddenly it became goes. Let us see Yusuf Ali. <clears throat> see, Yusuf Ali, he, co he correct the Quran and he used the word creep on their belly. 
but the fact in Arabic it says Yamshi for all the following animals or creatures as you see here the word Yamshi which is translated here as a creep which is false this is Yamshi for the one who goes in their bellies and Yamshi for the one who walk in their two legs and Yamshi for the one who have four legs so why they are translating the word Yamshi in the beginning as a creep because they are trying to correct the Quran in the language uh, 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 base so here Allah claiming that there's only three kind of categories of animals he created the one walk which is wrong in their belly that is like snakes and the ones which is uh, 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 walk with two legs and the one who walk with four legs look like your God Allah he never heard of something called a spider the funny the Quran have a chapter is called the chapter of the spider your God Allah he never heard of insect having many legs so there's only three kind of creatures one walk in their belly which is wrong to say because they creep they don't walk and one walk in two legs and one walk in four legs how you explain to me such a stupid mistake do we have any Muslim would like to call us any Muslim and the stupidity of the Quran go beyond where where Muhammad he claim or his God he says that Allah he created the mule chapter 16 verse number 8 I guess the mule here is the one who say what it says in the front of us is not the mule the animal and he <coughs> has created horses mule and donkeys so you ride them what is the camel by the way however did Allah really created the mule remember the Quran says we created from everything two bears so now we should have two pairs of a mule, male, male, male mule, and female mule. A mule, my friend, is uh, 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 to make it simple, Mr. Horse. You have a date with the female donkey, and they have sex together, one night stand, and then they get a baby. His name is a mule. A mule is not a created. And as long the Quran says that we created for you from everything bears what is the bear of the mule any Muslim <clears throat> any Muslim in the bushes Any Abdul? Hmm? It is he who spread the earth and the place therein, firm hills. Don't call me, kid. This is the, 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 this is the only Muslim who want to call me this guy who keeps saying the F word. It is he who spread out the earth and placed therein firm hills. Actually, it doesn't say hills, it says mountain. But here, look what is stupid here. The Quran teach that Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. It's not the earth, the, the, the mountains is coming from deep inside the earth. So Allah, he compared the earth is like a fly, uh, like a carpet, like you are going for a picnic. And then uh, uh, in order to fix it from flying he placed mountains like rocks in the top of the carpet So it's not going to move and this is very stupid and then he says <clears throat> and he created from everything two spouses Male and female as long he said to us that he created the mule who is the Muslim when I tell me what is the mule spouse? Any Muslim would like to call us and tell us what is the mule spouse?
the lady her name is Amira she is striking again she said to me you are a Christian right so why you discuss Muslim and Islam so your God he have the right to call us pigs and monkeys and filthy and kuffar but we cannot answer your God your God he can say that we are people of corruption we are go to hell and we deserve to be to die and to be killed but we cannot answer your God I think when your prophet he said that you have a half a brain he was right he was speaking specifically about you you have the right to say call the Christians wherever you find them you have the right to say I will spread hate and enmity between the Christians but we have no right to answer and if we answer we are teaching hate hypocrisy and stupidity in competition do we have any Abdul she said to me you do not know that those hadith are authentic my friend who care about the hadith I can show you this from the Quran the Quran says that your prophet when he was quoting he was quoting Quran actually not hadith Okay, it's time to, to block you, Abdul. I told you, don't call me, you idiot. I gave you an hour of my time. What do you want more? We need another Abdul. Who is next? Who is a Muslim? Wanna call us? Who is a Muslim? Only Muslim. I want a Muslim to call us and show us a scientific miracle in the Quran. Until now, we found nothing but garbage. When you say to me my screen is not clear that means you have a bad internet it's not my fault check your internet <clears throat> and you say about this about Islam that women have rights what is what is the right of a Muslim woman in Islam in Islam woman can she she have the right to be beaten do you want me to show you if we go in the Quran in chapter 4 verse number 4, 34 the Quran consider you the same as a goat because your husband he feed you and he give you he spend his money on you so he have authority over you to the point he can beat you so what do you mean that in Islam women have rights where is the right of a woman <clears throat> Muhammad before before Islam Muhammad himself was working for his wife Khadija what happened to the women after Islam Khadija she was a boss of Muhammad after Islam Khadija she is not the boss no more Women are nothing but a bunch of a chicken in Islam. Men are in charge of women because Allah has made one of them excel the other because they spend of their property to support the women. So because your man, he spent money on you, you are his whore. Why he have authority over you? Because he did spend their money on you. This is the mentality of a male and a whore I spend my money on you take off your panty obey me so good women who are the what <clears throat> who they are obedience <clears throat> excuse me guarding their secrets which Allah has guarded as for those whom you fear rebellion admonish them and punish them in beds which means he can jail you in your room as if you are a goat and it scourge them what kind of God are you going to say to me this is a weak hadith what kind of God he teach the man that you can treat your wife in such a way if my wife she don't agree with me in something I will school her I will scream at her I will shout at her and I will jail her in her room and which means I will not allow anyone even to speak to her I will put you in the room close the door on you and even I can tie you up to the bed if I want and nobody allowed to talk to you no visitors you cannot go out you cannot see anyone no family no one you are in jail you are serving your sentence until I am pleased again and if I want I can scourge the hell of you the Muslim they lie and they add the word lightly which is absolutely a big fat lie nowhere in the Quran it says lightly even Muhammad himself he did beat his wife if we go in the hadith 
you will see that the story of a woman she came to Muhammad complaining that her husband did beat her until her skin became a greener than her clothes but Muhammad he did Muhammad he took the side of the man who did beat his wife until her skin became a greener than her clothes Muhammad did not say to him shame on you actually Muhammad he gave him the verse which we spoke of to beat the women saying yes you are right Aisha she said witnessing how much Muslim women they suffer because of Islam she said I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing women why Aisha saying that we quote look her skin is a greener than her clothes we read the whole story we see the story is as the following the man is trying to force his wife to open her legs for him excuse my language the women she don't want to sleep with him Muhammad is forcing the women to open her pant take her panty off which means she is getting raped because if you force women into sex and this is not her will even if she is your wife you are raping her if you have a wife and she don't want to have sex and you force yourself you start beating her in order to have sex with her that is nothing but rape so you're a prophet is a person who teach rape and he make it lawful there's a muslim he said he want to call me he want to he want to finish me let us see <laughs> i like that Answer Abdul, I want you to finish me. How are yes. you, Abdul? How are you? I'm fine, and you? Okay, you said you want to finish me? Yes, I finish you. Go ahead, please. I'm, I cannot wait. Yes, I want to say that you are such a liar. Why? Everything you, because you said that this in this, uh, in this, uh, I forget this name. What name? Are you a person? Are you like your Muhammad? You have a short memory. You say a verse in the morning. You say the opposite after afternoon. <clears throat> Bad connection. Did you say Inshallah before you call me? Close your app, please. If you have many apps, close them. If you are most of Muslims, they don't even pay for the internet. They use the neighbor internet. That's why their internet is bad. Are you there, my friend? Let me call you back. Bad internet. This is what happened when you use somebody else's internet. Hmm. Halal theft. Maybe is the, the neighbor is a kafir, so it's okay to take his internet. Call me, call me when you get your internet bad back. Try to get the closer to the to the wall of your neighbor. All right, Move, change your location. <coughs> Did you hear? He said he wanna finish me, and I am lying. I wanna see the lies we we make. So as you see here, Muhammad, the woman, she is saying to him, "Well, you know, uh, he is." Uh, you know his penis is not working the man he said I swear by Allah my penis is so strong and I can satisfy you look at the conversation man look at this filthy conversation between the man and his wife and the Prophet and then at the end of the day Muhammad he took the side of the man who is beating the women Sure, he is a Muslim. He wanna call me. Let us see this one. <coughs> yes, Mister Muslim. You said you wanna call me. What do you want? Give me minute. One you, minute. Aren't you the one we spoke to you for one hour? Let other Muslims speak, man. What's wrong with you? Okay, okay, my friend. Uh, no, no, no. Let Muslims talk. Let Muslim talk. We give other opportunity. You call me for long enough. Okay, give the opportunity for other Muslims to speak. Let us see this guy. He want to finish me. I cannot wait. <coughs> hmm. I mean, how sad. The guy who want to finish me, his internet is bad. 
who is a Muslim want to finish me? How in the world people they can believe in such a garbage that this is religion? Forcing a woman to sleep with the man which she don't want and obviously here by the way the story is showing us another drama and misery in the life of Muslim women This woman here as you see in the story if you read with me carefully She got divorced from her previous husband and Muhammad he come with the rule which is the most disgusting rule ever that if a Muslim woman she been divorced by her husband three times she cannot get back to her previous husband until she get bang bang by a new guy so this woman he was she was divorced from the guy his name is Rifa <clears throat> and then she married from a guy his name is Abdul Rahman but obviously this woman she did not marry Abdul Rahman because she liked him she married him because this is the only way to go back to Rifa why this is the only way because Muhammad he made a very pathetic rule that if a woman she is divorced three times by her husband she cannot get back to her husband unless she sleep with someone else if we go in the Quran we will find the following disgusting statement how this is can be from God How this can be God teaching so if the husband divorce his wife which mean here is speaking about divorcing the wife <clears throat> three times he cannot after that remarry her until after she by the way it doesn't say marry it says tanka which means to if so she cannot go back and if this guy again unless she go and if a new guy and this is supposedly the limit of Allah. What kind of cult this cult is, and where is the logic? A woman, poor woman, she have no control of her husband divorcing her. He divorced her three times. So now you are punishing who? The man or the or the woman? Who is going to be effed? The man or the woman? The man is having a new wife now, he don't care. But this poor woman, she wanna go back to her babies, to her children, but she cannot. Even if the husband want to have her back, but he cannot have her back because the stupid Muhammad he come with the rule that she cannot get back to you unless she sleep with the new guy. Where is the dignity of Islam? The Muslim they say to you, we believe that women are like jewels. This is why we put them in the burqa. My friend, women in Islam is a sex toy. If you respect women, you don't force them to go to have sex with a strange husband just to get back to the first husband and this is why we see this story in the hadith about the women trying to get back to her previous husband mr rifa so she married a new husband mr abdul rahman so abdul rahman will take off her panty and he will put his uh, bull, bull bull there and that will make her lawful to go back to rifa have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this before and muhammad he confirmed to her he says if your intention to go back to your husband Rafa, uh, if your intention to remarry Rafa again, you have to know that you cannot remarry Rafa alone. You cannot stay with Rafa again unless Abdul Rahman had sexual intercourse with you. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult, disgusting cult like this? What is the dignity? I can have you back, my wife, if Abdul Rahman sleep with you. So Abdul Rahman is the only way to get my wife back. Where is Mr. Finish you? Why you don't call me? Anyone?
someone is saying to me we must believe in this he's a Muslim call me You see here, we speak about what is right and what's wrong. And suppose this is science of Allah, which will make the society better. But do you think this will make the society better? <coughs> yes, hello. Yes, my friend, what do you want to say to me? Yes, I want to only say that we must believe in this, what is written down. Okay, this I understand you must believe, but do you think this is right? No, I don't believe this is right, but we had to, so... Okay, but as long as you don't believe it's right, so why you have to, my friend? Because it's our prophet, he said that, and it's written down many years before, and so it is so like it is. Maybe it was so... So you are saying to me, just because he said that, you know it's, it's wrong, you know this, this, is, this is very bad, and still you are going to follow it blindly. Yes, in this century maybe it's not okay, but in this time it was okay, so... Hmm. But so does that mean that Islam does not fit for this century? It fit for previous centuries? Mm, uh, excuse me, what? Are you saying that the Quran is a book fit only for previous time, doesn't fit for today? Yes, so I think yes. Okay, but do you think if you live in the time of Muhammad, is it okay for you that if you divorce your wife, that she have to go sleep with someone else in order to come back to you? Do you do you like that? Be honest no, with me. This, I, no, this don't. I, I don't like this. Okay, but... so this is not about the time of Muhammad or now. Obviously, this is bad. This is disgusting. Yeah. Okay, yeah, my, my friend. I will change the topic just for you because you sound like a nice guy. Today our topic is Quran. Muslims, this, they claim that the Quran contains science. What do you think about that? About science? Science, science. The Quran contains science. What do you think about that? Is it true that the Quran contains science? Uh, I don't know what is saying. Sorry. Science, science, German. science. You know what science? Science. 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 Yeah, science. Like... Uh, uh, physic and uh, astronomy and uh, like how, oh. <laughs> how the baby is made uh, created yeah so do you agree with that uh, what what is written down so Muhammad say yeah like what? I mean the Muslim they say that in the Quran there's a there's a discovery of uh, of, of science they are scientific discovery so do you agree with those claims or they are hawkers they are false no I can say they are false but I don't know why maybe i don't know in this time they say something other and so they are false you agree they are false yes okay I think so, so you see i will change the topic just because for for you for your honesty and dignity i respect that on you give me something to make you stay as a muslim what is making you believe in islam to be as a as, as a religion for you uh, no because we we are born so in this, in this family and we have to follow them Okay, no. so you are born of a Muslim family, and because of that, you are going to stay as a Muslim, not because Islam is a good religion. Yeah, yes. yes. I mean, uh, don't you see that this is not right? I mean, you ag you just admitted, and they agreed, that Islam is a very bad cult. But just because your family are following the bad cult, you will stay in the bad cult. Yes, uh, yeah, maybe I change, I don't know. My friend, why you don't leave Islam right now? You are smarter mm -hmm. than this. You, you know, you just agreed that all of Islam is garbage. And now you are saying to me, I want to stay in the garbage. With my respect to you, I'm not trying to insult you. But why you want to yes, stay in the garbage? Because I want to respect my family and don't want to make them. My unhappy. friend, if you respect your family, you save them from the garbage. You see, like, uh, what? Uh, let us say, uh, 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 I uh, we, we live in the dumpster. We live in the garbage. So now we are saying, just because my family are living there, I'm not going to take them out of the garbage. No, you go out of the garbage and you give them a hand. Say, hey, let us go out from this. This is stupid. Yes, but you can't speak with them, with all of Muslims, because they're angry, you know. My, my friend, who who care about being angry, we care about what is right. We, we make people angry when we say we say what is right. And what is right is what counts at the end of the day. So you want to go to the grave until you're at the end of your life and you believe in such a garbage saying to me, I'm because this is hypocrisy. You don't believe in Islam, but still you are saying I'm a Muslim, but you don't believe in it. You just admitted that Islam yes. is a bad religion. So why you want to yes. say I'm a Muslim? 
no, I don't really say that. I'm, I'm, I don't know really where I go, you know, or what to believe. And mm. well, that, that is all. First that of all, I'm only a, a Muslim in in name, not so. I don't live this. So. All right, you, know? you are Muslim in name. Why you want to even keep the name if the name is dirty? The second I say I'm a Muslim, it's mean I believe in rape. Here we go. We just showed you your prophet is encouraging a man to rape his wife, forcing the women yeah. to go to bed, encouraging rape, and the man he did beat her until her skin became a greener than her clothes. So why you want to be part of a crime? No, I don't want to be a part of a crime, but it is not good what happened. But we must believe. We must. So you don't believe, my friend. You you, you just said it's bad. It's mean they don't believe. So not me believe, but the Muslims must believe. Okay, but you are you are from a Muslim family, and you are saying I am a Muslim by name. So what, when you say I'm a Muslim by name, why you want to carry a name you don't belong to? Because what should I do? You leave it. Who cares? I mean, you leave it. You say I'm not a Muslim. I'm not stupid. This I'm not going to belong to this. But I can't say this to my family. Why not? Aren't you a man? No, but. They they will angry and maybe hit me. I don't know. How old are you? Uh, Twenty. Okay, my friend. Okay, soon you will be a man enough to to do. You, do you have a job of your own? Yes, I have a job. Okay, who need them? You go live by yourself. You are a man. What hit me? Who? Why want to hit me? I will not let anyone hit me. Why they want? They call you call the cops for them, but they want to hit you. What hit no, you? I must laugh because. Sorry, but they show me love in my life. How so they show I'm you just... love, but they hit you. <laughs> yes, they want to make me on the straight way. So they... this is not a straight way. This is a stupid way. You just agree that this Islam is a stupid. So they want to hit you to keep you as a Muslim because they love you. That's not. This is not a good love. This is an ugly love. If they love you really, they respect your decision and you, they try to reason with you. Okay, if you can convince me that Islam is a good religion, I will go back. Convince me, but not hit me. Yes, you are not. I, a, you, I, are I, not a, you are not. You are not. Even if in the West, even if you hit a donkey, you go to jail. I mean, animals they have more, more, uh, more rights than Muslims between Muslims. So, my friend, this is an ugly religion, and you know you, you have no reason to stay as a Muslim. I advise you to leave immediately, right now. Yeah, maybe I. I will. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. Feel free to yes. contact me anytime. Feel free if you want to call and you say you want to announce to say that you are left, you left Islam. Actually, I believe you left Islam already. You just said that, but you don't want to say it like. Yeah, no, I'm I'm at an atheist, so I. Yeah, don't know. you are out of Islam. I, I understand, but for me, I would like always to guide you to what is right, and I will take opportunity right now. I invite you to accept the Messiah and the Lord, the Messiah, the Christ as your Savior. I want you to follow my videos and watch them. And yes, I watch. Anytime you have a question for me, please feel free and give me a call. If you decide, you know, uh, I want you to when you when you go to bed today, pray to the Lord, to the God, the true God. Say, God, show yourself to me. Give me a message. Give me a sign that you are the true Lord. And let us see if the Messiah will give you any sign, any message from Him. Okay? Can we pray that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I try this. Yeah. All right, my okay. friend. So thank you very much for calling, and let us pray. I pray with you, and I, I ask all the Christians. That may the Lord send a message to this person so he will see the truth and the truth will set him free and he will be delivered from the devil and the cult of Islam which is nothing but a lie and evil and fabrication thank you my friend for calling me the Lord bless you thank you too bye thank bye. you bye bye who is a Muslim would like to call us I see some Muslim is trying to call here <clears throat> Let us see this guy. <laughs> He's not answering. So why you call me? Yes, Yusuf, how are you doing? Hello? Are you there?
Are you there? Hello? Yes. Yes, Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik's friend, you blocked me the last time. Uh, because Remember? you are a hypocrite liar. Do you apologize for the lies you said before? Do you apologize for the lies you said before? I apologize for the fact that maybe we were interrupting each other, but I no, thought no, 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 no. I showed you our Razi. I showed you. I showed you the interpretation of the Razi. You refused to continue reading, and you did lie. You did not translate. Why? No, 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 brother. Quickly, I asked you about Razi in relation to, for example, Mutashabihat. My friend, did, did I show you? Did, isn't you who asked me to show you a Razi? Why you did not read a Razi? Does a Razi say that the sperm of the man? Does the Razi say? Hold on. Does the Razi say that the sperm of the man coming from his brain, or I'm making things up? No, no, you're making things up because he spoke about pelvic arch. You listen to me. Okay, do you want to challenge me again? Hold on. No, 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 no. You see, when you say you are making things up, we will open a Razi right now. What do you say? No, no, no. I want to ask. Why no, 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 no? Why no, 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 no? Why no, 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 no? You are the one who said to me, no, let us read did. a Razi, shut up. You see, this is why I hang up on you, because you have no dignity. You are not honest, and you shout too much. You speak too much, but you say nothing. I asked you, which chat, which, which interpretation, listen, I asked you, which interpretation you like me to show you? You said, by your choice, a Razi. Is that correct? Is it me my, who choose a Razi for you, or you are the one who choose a Razi? Who is the one who choose a Razi, me you or you? I will give you my top three choices for you and I will No, you gave me already. Did for you me? choose for me? Last time you called me. Did you choose no. a Razi? Yes or no? So I chose a Razi. Okay. So why you don't want to read what a Razi see? You know, I will give you an opportunity to fix your lies and to be honest, maybe once in your lifetime. Read for me what a Razi say about the sperm coming from the ribs of the women. And here we go. The Razi is in the front of you. And let us read together what, what it says. Read for me what it says. Here we go. I can't, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. It's in the screen. Anything. It's in the screen. Hold on. 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 Why don't you go to my top three interpretations? Muhammad you gave me already the top. You gave me already your interpretation of your choice. You are the one who said to me, "Show me a Razi." It was not me who said to you, "Let me show you a Razi." I said Razi in relation to Surah 3 verse 7. So a Razi for you, uh, okay, so a Razi for you is a donkey when you want. He is a smart when you want. Yes. Ah, okay. Well, you are a donkey for me too because you are a hypocrite man. Because either a Razi is a smart scholar or he is a donkey scholar. But you just admitted to saying that a Razi is a donkey sometime and that, uh, that the Razi is a smart sometime. So why you are bringing to me half donkey, half smart to explain the Quran for you, unless you are donkey too. A person who accepts that a scholar is half donkey, half horse, and yet he brings the name to me, he is, he, that's mean he himself is a donkey. Don't you agree? Listen to me. Okay, hold on, hold on. I want to, I, I want to give you, I want to give you opportunity. I want to give you opportunity to fix the scam of your prophet. In the chapter eighty-six, okay. verse number seven, I'll the Quran you. says, "Hold on, shut up." Why, why the Quran, shh, don't make me hang up, up on you as down. usual because shut you are because you are you are rude like Zakir Naik. Let me, I will call Zakir Naik for you, why and you he will spank you. Hold on, hold on. Time. Listen, listen. Why you now, because you are a rude person, you don't let me talk. You call me, and you don't let me talk. Let us talk together. Not only you, not only me. I'm asking you now. Chapter, you shut me? up. Chapter. Chapter 86, verse number 7. Which is the interpretation you like? Muhammad Asad and Sayyid Muhammad Asad, and this, is a, this is a new interpretation. Is that correct? Muhammad Asad is new. Number two, Abdul is new. Ali, number three, okay, Abdul so why you, you, you don't owe, you don't want the scholars of Islam, you want Muhammad Asad. So do you agree with Muhammad Asad? I agree with Muhammad Asad. Only Muhammad Asad. Abdullah Yusuf Ali, number two. Yusuf, Bilal, okay, you, you agree with uh, Abdullah okay. Yusuf Ali? You agree with Muhammad? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, guys, he agree with Yusuf Ali. He agree with Muhammad. I said those are new people who have no idea what they are talking about. Can you tell me why? Why a Razi is not valid for you no more? Why Muqatil is not valid for you for no more? Why a Tabari is not valid for you? Why Ibn Kathir is not valid for you no more? Why now you are coming only with the new generation? Those are educated. They are trying to cover up what the Quran is saying.
because stupid boy they were written in the context in the past when knowledge was not very widely ah, known. Ah, so That's the so the knowledge of the Quran changed based in the discovery of the white white Christians who discovered for you the Western, they discover for you something, no. and now you try to make no. it fit with the Quran. Okay, I want you, I want you to read for me. Hold on, I want you to read for me what Muhammad Asad said. Go ahead. Okay, give me the give me the surah and the verse. Give the, the chapter, surah, a the chapter verse. seven, verse number, chapter eighty-six, verse number seven. Give me the link of Muhammad Asad so we can put it in the screen, please. Let's basically, let's basically go. I've got Muhammad Asad in front of me. No, give, give, it me. give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I want to show everybody so we can laugh together okay. at the fabrication. Okay, yes, it no, he, he, he made you a fool. Asad makes you a fool. So let, us see, let, let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see who is the fool. <clears throat> let me show you this. Is it. Hmm. So we're looking at verse 5. Hmm. Yahruju min, uh, um, it's Hulika min ma in dafiq. Let man then observe out of what he has been created. Hmm. He has um, uh, he has been created out of a seminal fluid hmm. issuing from between its yahruju min baini sulbi wa taraib. That's the main word taraib. Now this is what Muhammad Asad basically says. Hmm. He says the plural noun. Then can I can I speak and then you hear the plural noun taraib hmm. rendered by me as pelvic arch as pelvic arch. Also has the meaning of ribs or arch of bones, according to most authorities, who have specialized in the etymology of a rare Quranic expression. Okay, what the names of those authority, my friend? Let me finish. This term relates specifically. No, 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 no. no don't before you finish. Did he give reference for the authority he is quoting from? Is that a Razi? Is that Al Qurtubi? Is that a Tabari? He gives Taj al Arus. Taj al Arus. Okay, let us see. I will go to Taj al Arus. Are you are you sure that Taj al Arus is something you like? No, no, listen to me. Let no, me no, 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 no. Okay, Taj al Arus. If we show you from Taj al Arus, you are the one who mentioned that he mentioned Taj al Arus. No, 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 no. Do you agree I'm with Taj al Arus? Yes or no? Can, can you shut up? And you see, you are scared now. You just mentioned to me, I said to you, which one is the book you agree with? You said Taj al Arus. So, do you agree with Taj al Arus or not? Yes. Okay, here we go. This is Taj al Arus, variant number one. Page number two, three, uh, three sorry, uh, uh, three, two, three, shut up. You are I'm the coming. one who chose, shut up. You are the one who chose Tajul Arus. And he said, what Taraib, here is Zamu Sadr. Read it. No, that's not Tajul Arus. This is Tajul Arus, you donkey. This is Tajul Arus. Here we go. Tajul Arus. Here we go in the screen. It's in the front. I'm showing you. I'm showing you. Zakir Naik, a friend, my brother, you, Zakir Naik, my friend, yeah, this is why you are an idiot. Read, you are the one who said to me, Taj al Arus, you don't, you don't lie now. This is Taj al Arus, this is variant number one, this, this is page number three, two, three, in the front of your eyes. Does it say that a Taraib is a Zamu Sadr? Yes or no? That's Razi. This is what? Razi, that's from Razi. Razi. No, this is Taj al Arus, you donkey. You see, you see why I don't respect you? You are a certified liar. It's in the front of you in the screen. It says Taj al Arus. It's in the front of you. Don't tell me, show me. I like for the people. I like for the people. You're a liar. It's in the front of you. Read it. Read it. I highlight in red. Does it say they are Taj al Arus? Does it say they are Taj al Arus? No, it does not. It's not go up the screen. It's not, uh, <laughs> screen up okay, screen. I will give you a second. Here we go. Doesn't show yet. Doesn't show yet. Just show me the screen, please. Refresh your screen page. Refresh your page. Me. Refresh your page. Everybody is laughing at you. Mm. Let me just put it there. Mm. My page is. Um, I've got it here. By the way, you believe Joshua stopped. By the way, by the way, don't change, don't change the topic, potato. By the way, you are a donkey. Yeah. By the way, I'm getting you busted. Yeah. By the way, I change your diaper each time you call me. By the way, you are the most big fat liar ever I saw in my life. Don't change the topic. Now read it. Does it say Tajul Arus? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, so yes. it says Tajul Arus, and he is saying yes, at Taraib, he is almost Sadr. And he explained it is the bones between the two breasts. Does it say that? No, it says the ribs. It's almost southern. 
uh, refers to female anatomy, according to Muhammad Assad. Uh, you see, Abdul, female you are the one who chose Taj al Arus, and now you don't want to read Taj al Arus. You are a certified donkey. Don't call me again. Don't call me again. You are a certified. You have no dignity. I asked you, what is the reference your scholar he gave? You said Taj al Arus. Don't ever call me again. You are a scumbag. I have no respect for liars. This is why I block you. You say to me, show me from there. I show you from there. And then you don't want to read it from there. You say to me, a, 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 a Razi. And then you say to me, he Razi. Sometimes he's a donkey. Sometimes he's a smart. So you are saying to me that your scholars are half donkeys, have a mule. And you have to be a donkey yourself to ask me to read from a mule. You said to me, I read, I like Al Asad. The Asad will give you busted. I said to you, Al Asad, he's getting his quotation from where? He said, Tajul Arus. We go to Tajul Arus, he got him busted. Not only that, actually, he said, Your Tajul Arus says <clears throat> that the Thraib, the Thraib is, is the bones da down the chin of the man, down, down his, uh, <clears throat> what they call it? <coughs> Let me drink some water. وهي أعلى وهي أعلى صدر الإنسان and it is the top of the chest of the human being and it is for the women do you see it قال ابن الأثير وفي الحديث ذكر التربية هي أعلى صدر الإنسان تحت الذقن so it is the top of your chest under the chin like you know where your beard grow but this is for women now this is not for men so why you Muslims try to cover the shame of your prophet when he says that women they have a sperm coming from their back from the, from the ribs and the man have a sperm coming from the backbone? You think by quoting for me somebody is just born yesterday trying to explain the Quran, try to make it fit with science, you can cover the ass of your prophet. It's too late. It's too late. Your prophet is a big fat liar and he got busted. And now what we will do in order to cover the shame of the Quran, we are going to deny all the interpretation of the Quran for centuries. And now we will go to Asad. But Asad himself, he cannot make it. Asad means a lion. Obviously, your Asad is a cat, and I get him busted in two seconds. This is an obvious, stupid mistake in the Quran, speaking that man have a sperm coming from the backbone. Since when the women have a sperm and since when the women sperm the, their sperm is coming from the bones which is the ribs a location exactly the location of the necklace we have a muslim try to speak to us let's see <coughs> hello show me in a ground where uh, a woman has sperm show me it's in the front of you here we go <coughs> Here we go from the Quran, verse number six and verse number seven. It says that there's a gushing fluid which make the baby created coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. Read it. It says that the gushing fluid emerges from between the ribs of the man and the ribs of the woman. In the Quran, it says that a man is created from the ribs uh, from the uh, ribs of a man. Ah, but this is about the creation of the baby, not about the creation of Adam, my friend, or Eve. Yes, but show me where in the Quran does a woman have sperm. It show says me. that in the front of you. Oh, it doesn't say that. Okay, what is it's the gushing fluid? No, oh, okay, here we go. Read, read, read with me. Gushing fluid from between the man and the woman. Do you see it? Where? It's in the front of you. Wait, are you uh, going at Quran or, or Tafsir? Quran and Tafsir. No, I, I want Quran. Okay, let me ask you. Do you know, do you understand the Quran better than your prophet? Where does Muhammad say that women have sperm? Okay, if I, show, if I show you that Muhammad, he said women have a sperm, are you going to, to, to laugh with me at Muhammad? Do you promise me? Okay, I promise you. And, uh, okay, here we go. Oh, but, 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 just wait. Don't, don't. Wait, 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 just wait man have patience a little bit okay your prophet said 
the man water is white and thick and the women yes. water is thin and yellow yeah, thin okay. and yellow is a sperm okay sperm what is, is white okay the white man the, the white the man have a sperm it's white and thick and according to muhammad the women have a sperm it is thin and oh. yellow this is a sperm this is what where does it say sperm of a woman well how come you you got you understood okay does it say how you know that the, what is the white water of the man is that a sperm or this is an ice cream it's a sperm okay so now sperm. he did not say the word is sperm but right away you understand that this is a sperm don't be a hypocrite so your yes, prophet is comp uh, shut up you're a prophet comparing between two water the water of the no. man and the water of the women and this is the sperm the sperm of the man is white and thick and the sperm of the women is thin and yellow and not only that no. your prophet hold on does your prophet say is that your prophet says whichever of them comes first the child will resemble the parents yes okay so do you, so you agree you agree if your mother do you look like your mother or you like your father my my mother that's mean your mother she have orgasm first that's wonderful so my friend no. okay no do yes. you know it is what it says Whenever, yes, yes, whichever yes. of them, yes, yes, you agree. Okay, so whichever yes. of them come first, the child will resemble the parents. So, okay, what is yes. the yellow water of your mother in her vagina have to do with you look like her? Explain it to us. It's a uh, of whoever discharges first, right? Yeah, but he is explaining to us the water in your, in your mother vagina and says whoever bring that water first, the baby will look like the, 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 the parents. So why you look like your mother because of the yellow water of your mother? Explain to us. Where does it say sperm? Okay, forget about the word sperm. Forget about the word sperm. No, there's no, a yellow, no, no. there's a yellow, there's a yellow water will make you look like your mother. Explain to us what is that water? what uh, when the woman is charged I know we got that point we got that point but why this yellow water will make you look like your mother because it prevails over the sperm of a, of a man okay so what is that yellow water what you see each time you are busted you say to me what what you need no. time sing think no problem call a friend what is okay. the yellow water how many times I need to repeat the question what is the yellow water made you look like your mama okay when i say uh <laughs> the, the woman have a, a water it is uh yellow and uh thick does it mean sperm no it doesn't matter doesn't tell me mean, tell me okay it doesn't mean sperm it mean what it mean what what is what is the water of your mother which is yellow and thin is that her piss no so what is it why this yellow water made you look like her explain to us we are listening i don't know each time i, I spank you i change your diaper i put bother I, over your I, ass you say to me i do not know so why you are calling me if you do not know because you are claiming something which is not in i know i am not claiming your prophet saying that he said that this water make you look like her explain to me what is that water he he he, he compared between two water the water of the man and the water of the women so the water of the man is thick and white and that obviously in islam is ice cream and the water of the women is thin and yellow and this is obviously in islam uh, it's maybe the piss what is it tell me what is that is it, a, is it if it is not a sperm it's what my friend, nowhere does it say it is a sperm of So a what woman. it is, what it is, the yellow water will make you look like her. I don't know. You, uh, you tell me. I don't know. Mm. Okay, hold on. In different hadith, your prophet, he said the following. A woman, she came to Muhammad and she was touching her vagina. She is a good Muslim woman and she is very horny. Um Salim, she asked Allah Messenger about a woman sees in her dream something like which men they sees. Do you see dreams like that, my friend? Let me read. Mm. So she saw yes. she saw a wet dream and she was touching her private part and she have orgasm. All right. The messenger of Allah says, if she sees that th uh, she has this charge, then let her perform a bath. Um Musalama said, this is the wife of your prophet. She said, oh, messenger of Allah, does that really happen? Here I want to ask you a very simple question. Why the wife of your prophet never have this charge before? Because maybe he never had sex with her. Oh, she know. is the wife of Muhammad, but Muhammad never have sex with her. So who is the one having sex with the wives of Muhammad, the neighbor? Maybe. 
Maybe Muhammad uh, just married her. She is his wife already. She live in his house. So what do you mean? Maybe he already married her. I know like already he is uh, his wife already. So how she do not know? She never heard that women have orgasm. Obviously, your prophet is using maybe his nose. He's not using the right tool. Do you think your prophet he knew he knew how to have sex? This is not a topic. Oh, look, I think your prophet is like a rabbit. He have orgasm before the women finish. This is why this woman she never have orgasm. But it's not the topic. You are right. We continue. And then Muhammad he said yes, yes. The water of the man is thick and white, and the water of the women is thin and yellow. And which one of them come first? The child will resemble the parents. Okay. If a woman if, if a woman uh, discharges and she have uh, yellow with thick, uh, I don't know what it is, but how do you call uh, such thing? I call what it stupid. That's why I call it. I call it your prophet as being a, ma a mad man. No, no, no I, I, I'm just asking you. How do you call the uh, discharge of a woman the water? This is a lotion. The woman when she when she got to, to to ease the sex because if you don't have a lotion around your private part. You, no. you 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 will have pain so the women she have a lotion and you're a stupid prophet he thought that this is the orgasm of the women and which is supposedly a sperm and that's why he says that that water there's two water one is for the man which is white and thick which is the sperm of the man and yeah. yellow water of the women which is thin and yellow which is the sperm of the women and both of them they make the look of the baby okay if I my let me let's okay. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. If we go in the hadith, read with me carefully. No. This hadith, read with me this hadith. What do you think about this hadith? Where does it say that uh, the sperm read, yeah. read, 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 read the hadith, read the hadith? <laughs> okay, at every room, Allah points an angel who says, Oh Lord, a drop of mutfa, oh Lord, a drop of alaka, oh Lord, a mutha. So, what's it? Hmm. Do you agree with this? Yes, okay. And your prophet, he just said, Your prophet, he said that the water of the man, if the water of the women come first, the, the baby will look like the parents. So, now, what is the drop of water of the women will make you look like your, your, like your mother? What we call it, semen. Do you see it? At every room, Allah button. Isn't it your prophet? He said, if you, if 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 the woman have she of orgasm first, the baby will look like the mother. It and he, says, he described uh, the water. So what is the water here? He he mentioned that there's only one thing that is a semen. So the semen of the man and the semen of the woman. Correct. It seems, yes, but in the Quran it says every child is created from the sperm of a man. Really? Yes. Where it says that. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Show us, show, show us where it says that. Go ahead. That's how you get busted. Go, no, get yeah, me busted. Sure. Go show me, show me the verse. Let us read together and love, because that will help me to get your prophet busted better. Give me the verse. But don't take it back after you post it. Don't say to me later I do not know what I said. You, you are the one who mentioned that to me. Just be careful. Remember. <clears throat> okay, uh, chapter. Uh, wait, uh, how do you say the English? Wait, uh, chapter, just give me the number. What chapter number? Chapter 53, verse uh, 45 and uh, to 46. 53 to 45 to 46. All right, here we go. They are in front of your eyes. Tell me what it says 53, 45 to 46, right? Yes, okay, go ahead, read it. <clears throat> Let me read it. Mm. Chapter 53, verse 46 says. Mm. Where is the man? <clears throat> and he created pairs, man and female, from mm. a drop of seed. Mm. Went lodged. It's where, it's, it's, what is, it's, what is this? You said to me, it says that it, uh, Allah created you from the sperm of a man. <clears throat> where it yeah. says that? Where? <clears throat> it says there. Where? What do you mean? It says for, for, uh, from a seed. Which seed of what? Does it say seed of a man there? Yes. Where? Show me the word man. I don't see it. It's a sperm. Okay. Where is the word man? The seed of the man. Does it say the seed of the man?
You want to call a friend? No. You want to call your mother because she is expert. Uh, what, uh, what? What? Okay, hold on. We we go back to your prophet. Let's see what your prophet said because he's smarter than you. Obviously, we have to learn from your prophet. Your prophet in the hadith he says the following: <coughs> How how many days? How many days the sperm they stay inside the womb of the women according to you? My friend, if you say the, the sperm, it does not stay forty days. I, I don't want to talk about this topic. Why not? Why not? We are talking about science and the Quran. How can what kind of a prophet he say that the sperm of them? What kind of a prophet he say that the semen remain in the womb for fifty days? Is that okay. is that a true or this is a stupid? Okay, can I show you? Show Don't prove that that is a true prophet. Don't open your camera. Don't show me anything, please. No. We're talking about okay. semen, and because Muslim, they show penises. Sometimes they call me in camera. They show their penises because they think they are the only one who have a penis. And the funny, it's harder to see even in the camera. They are so small, my friend. How is small? Okay. How is small the brain of your prophet to say that women? They have a semen and the semen remain in the womb for 50 days. It doesn't say women have semen. It says well, that. It, it says that. Okay, when is this? Uh, <coughs> okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Wait, wait, when wait, when wait, the gender wait. will be decided? When your prophet, he said, whoever comes first, the baby will look like it. Yes. Who, who is the one who decides the gender? Allah. Allah. Okay, yes. so according to the verse here, that the last thing Allah he decide is the gender. Is that correct? Uh, after it becomes a uh, after it becomes a piece of uh, flesh. No, after he became yes. a total baby. After he finished him as a baby. Okay. Now he will write. He will write his provision. He write his good and bad, even to be good or evil. This is destiny, and then uh, at the end. The angel he asked Allah, male or female, do you agree? Let me get you busted. In the Quran it says, after it becomes a piece of flesh, Allah will make the bones and then he will cover the bones with flesh and then he will develop it into another creature. Okay. Meaning, he will, he will cut the parts to grow of the body and then it becomes a uh, human being. Okay, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me that Allah, he make the flesh into bones and then he cover the bones with meat, correct? That Yes, and then he, okay. Then hold he, on, hold on, hold on. I want to show you something. I want I want everybody to know this is very smart of you. Actually, I respect that on you. You are genius. I I, I never thought you are going to to be genius like this. But uh, uh, you know, let us see what does that mean. Uh, oh, hold on, 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 hold on. Okay. Uh, um, let us see if we go in the Quran and we, if we say. Uh, guys, what they call the the dead man uh, uh, bones? What they call it? When when somebody what, what what they call the when when hold oh, shut up? What they call the man when he's dead? Like what the bones left? What they call it? Let us see. Okay, let us search in Arabic. I don't know really what the word in English. Let's search in Arabic. So according to you, that a human being, he was Allah. He made him first bones, and then after that, Allah he covered him. With the flesh, is that then, is that correct, my friend? And then he will uh, cause the uh, body parts to grow, and then uh -huh. uh, So Allah then he, first he finished the bones, and after that he start covering you with the flesh. Explain to us how <laughs> stupid that is. No, no, it's not stupid. What do you mean not stupid? This is very stupid. Okay, uh, about uh, this, uh, you say that. Uh, what? Let me just say uh, what? 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 How in the world you say that Allah he made the mudra he made it to a bones and then after that he covered the bones with the flesh this is stupid and then he will cause the body parts to grow no then what the grow hold on first we have already the body bars and we have the arms we have the legs we have all the body and now your so, god yeah your okay. god your abdul your your god your god saying that after we make you as bones then we cover you with the flesh is that correct Yes, and then okay. we, uh, he will so now you are a baby inside your mother like this, and then Allah He decide to start covering you with the flesh. It's like a clothing, right? No, you will cause uh, you, you will give you a, a little bit of a skeleton, 
Then he will cause the, uh, the body parts. Ah, uh, ske will... skeleton, skeleton. Uh -huh. My friend, I imagine you right now. I imagine you right now speaking to me like this. Are you this person? No. Are you sure? Yes. I don't know. He looked like you somehow because I'm looking at the picture in Skype and this one, he looked the same. Okay. In, ch uh, in chapter 53, verse uh, 46, it says, from a drop of seed. Who have seed only a man. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. How the bones will be covered by the, by, by the flesh. So now we have bones. And now I'm thinking about you see like listening to me like this. I mean, this is your situation. So now you are bones, and then Allah, after He finished you all as bones, there's no meat yet, there's no nerves, there's nothing. Then Allah will start to closing you with meats. How that can happen? Okay, because Allah says He will let the body parts to grow. Okay, but He's talking about clothing you with meat, so you are now bones only, and then after that, He closes you with meat. Okay, let me just uh, show you a picture from the embryonic stages at weeks. Okay, so let me just let send me, me just get you busted. Can you send me a picture of you so we can put it in the screen? Because obviously you are the proof of the cave time people. No. Why you don't do that? <clears throat> no, because I don't want to. Mm, okay. <laughs> this is religion. This is this is this is science and the Quran. This is stupid. Every verse in the Quran is the chain of stupidity. How in the world any human being can believe in such a garbage? Hmm? Just wait. I'm waiting. Uh, I'll send you the link. Okay, send me the link. No problem. This is a link of your choice, right? Yes. Okay. Look at uh, forty-two days and forty-four <laughs> days. After it becomes uh, like a piece of flesh, then Allah mm. will cause the body parts. The okay. then He will make a little bit of a skeleton. Okay, but as you see, as you see, from the from, hold on, from the there is nowhere it says that you are bones and then He cover you with the flesh. You are already from the beginning. You are an egg, and the egg there's no bones in it. No, I say look at uh, forty-two days. Uh, my That's friend, it. we are looking, we are looking, we are looking. This is 42 days, but here we go. Already you have a flesh, my friend. What 40 days? There's no okay. Uh, listen, 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 listen. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Abdul. Hold on, hold on. Let us click at the picture, make it bigger so everybody can laugh with us about what you are posting for me. Here we go. Okay, so in the 40 in the 40 days, do you see here that he is just bones or he have a flesh already? Yes, a flesh, and at forty-four days, uh, the bones okay. will start to grow. Okay, so so why he's up. saying that you are bones, and then he cover you with the flesh? This is not the topic. This is the topic. No. Let your mom call me. I want the man of the house to call me. After all of this talking, this is not the topic. Who is a smart Muslim who can do better than this guy? He willing to call us. <clears throat> Any smart Muslim until now I did not find in the Quran anything except stupidity. Sorry to say. Any Muslim? Hello. But oh, uh, why are you hanging up? Because I said let the man of the house call me. Oh, why are you scared? You are just a kid. We are talking about the bones for the last 15 minutes, and then you said to me this is not a topic. No, but because you want to say that bones and flesh form semi. Uh, okay, let, let, let me let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Topic, oh, oh, me. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. As long you are a person who knows very much about Islam, and I like that about you. When you're a prophet, you speak about the baby, how the baby was created, and if the women have orgasm first. The baby will look like the mother. What if the women have never have orgasm? The baby will look like who? The woman, uh, the woman or father will have uh, orgasm. Okay, so he will look like the father, right? Yes, if the okay. man uh, starts first. Okay, if a child he is born from, 
you know, let us say the mother is a black and sorry, the mother is white and the father is white, but the baby is a black. Who is the one who resemble the, the child here? And I've never seen that in my life. Mm. In fact, <laughs> okay, uh, so mm -hmm. okay, okay, let us see. <clears throat> uh, I, hold on, I you never saw that in your life? I, I saw it. My wife was giving birth to a black boy. The no, messenger like, of Allah, hold on, shut up. The messenger, the, a guy, he came to Muhammad. He is white. His wife is white. And then the, the boy is black. It's obvious that the woman, she is having sex around. Let me see. Your prophet is saying that he have, you know, he have, uh, you know, he compared him to the camel. But the guy, he have, a, he, all his tribe are white people. All his tribe are white people. How the son will be black? Because maybe the uh, father is black. He's not. She is white, and he and he and, and he and she is he, she is white, and he is white. How the sun will be black? Okay, can you show me a, a reference that the father is not is white? This who, this why he is coming to complain. He's coming to complain because this doesn't make sense. Neither me, neither my wife. We are black. So how the baby is black? My wife is giving me. Is this even talking my about my friend? My friend, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Do you look Chinese? No. How you look like? Normal. Okay. Is your father African? Yes. And your mother is what? African? Yes. Okay. Are you white? Yes. That's mean you are a bastard, my friend. What do you mean my parents come from because uh, you are saying that your father is a black your mother is a black and yet you are oh. white so how you what? can be the son of your father because you just said to me that if the women have orgasm first the baby will look like you will look like your mother but you just said you are white but your mother is, is black and your father is a black no my parents come from uh, tunisia they are not black you are the one who said to me a second ago they are black you said to me my father is a black and my mother is a black it's recorded I said, I said it's uh, African. I, 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 I just, just let, let the man of the house call me, please. <laughs> this guy is really funny. Do we have any smart Muslim in the bushes? Don't call me, man. Don't call me. That's it. I, don't make me block you again. Stop doing that. Okay, you're asking for it. Here we go. I will ban you. What I can do now? Why you do that to yourself? I have to block you now. You're a kid. You are blocked. Muhammad here, you know, he's trying to say something stupid. The man, he don't have anyone in his family black, and the woman, she have nobody in her family are black, and the child is a black. Obviously, the woman, she is having sex with the slave she owned. The Arab, they have many black slaves, and they are white people. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Who is a smart Muslim would like to call us? Uh, this guy is an idiot. You know, he don't have no chance to talk. This is why he's a liar. He's a friend of Zakir Naik. He mentioned something to me each time he called me. He mentioned something to me. I get him busted. He refused to read. I asked him what book you like me to show you. I choose the he chose the book. I opened the book for him. I put it in the screen. I asked him to read. He refused to read. Because the book he chose, it get him busted. Hello. Hey, Christian friends. Hey, my oh, friend, I, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine too. Uh, um, it's funny uh, to listen again uh, to your uh, session. Uh, can you show us how stupid it is to claim that Baha is uh, and um, uh, the meaning for for, uh, for um, water and land is a um, right 
percent, uh, percentage of the real uh, land and water in the earth? I, I don't know what you mean. Say again. Okay. Uh, I try to. You are talking uh -huh. about the, the salty water and the fresh water. Don't don't. No no mix. no no no. Hmm? Um, no, no. Um, there's they claim on an internet page which hmm. made me very uh, convinced in religion for uh, a year or for a month hmm. that uh, the word Baha is uh, 32 times in the Quran. Ah, and ah, okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. I, I got what you mean. Okay, my friend, yes. the Muslims, yeah. they are professional stupid Liar. liars not just a professional because there's a professional liars who, who knows how to make a lie they are professional yes. stupid liars at least make make your lie come to be true i mean come come with something okay so they said to mm -hmm. use the word bahar how many times uh 32 and okay. uh, bar as a land 13 times okay i will type the word bahar in the front of your eyes in the screen yes. here we go and I will search the word uh, with roots and without roots. We will start with the exact phrase. You see my screen, right? Uh, yes. Okay, here we go. The word Bahar come only once as exact phrase. <laughs> okay. Um, I will make it any word. Uh, 38 time. Okay. <laughs> now, what uh, is the word the bar? Bar, right? How many times the word bar? 33? Uh, 13. 13. 13. Oh, okay. So we will go to the word bar. Exact mm. phrase. Zero. Any word. Mm. And by the way, here, that will not make bar because like here, as an example here, bark. Bark, which is the thunder, you know? So it's yeah. it is zero time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what they are talking about? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Mm. The, the yeah. same. The same. They say like the word "women" is equal to men and etc. I mean, this is yeah, it's, it's a it's a madness. It's full of lies. And I, but I can't understand how. Also, I have so much friends. They are believing in it. No, no. They, they you see, they copy paste. Nobody is, is going. Why they don't do and search and check themselves and let us yeah, see. Yeah, like me. I uh, yeah. research it. Okay. So, thank you. You know the, you. the one the one who make those claims. Why he don't show us where the word appear mm. by list one by one. And yes. where, do, like I say, the word bar, where, what mm. verse is saying the word bar, and what verse is saying the word bahar, and let us compare mm. between them and check it out. So it's a fabrication, it's a lie, and yeah. you know they they assume that everybody who is going to believe in this anyway, the ones who don't speak Arabic, but the one who speak Arabic, he can go and type the word mm. in two seconds. Yeah. So, uh, uh, do you think that only in Western uh, uh, countries? They claim that there are miracles in the Quran. So in no, no, they uh, claim even in because you see in Islamic countries usually, as long you yeah. are defending Islam, whatever you say, nobody question. Even if it's a lie, it's okay. Right. You know, it doesn't okay, matter okay, as okay. long you are supporting Islam, it's okay. Uh, because mm -hmm. this is what the. Uh, but if you say something against Islam in two seconds after that, you will be killed. You know. Yes. But as long yes. you are making all the lies, just defending Islam, who care? I mean, that's good. Yes, I understand. Yeah. yeah. Can you uh, any time not uh, today? Uh, tell us a little bit more about the 19 code. I have seen a video of you where you debunked it with Bismillah. That uh, anyone no, right now we can do it actually right now just fast. You but, know? but but please not. All, I, I want to see it if it's possible for you anytime uh, in the future. The, it is they do, that don't claim only by Bismillah they make the whole Quran a miracle of 19. Yeah. Everything they make a 19 quote, you know what I, I mean? know, I know, but 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 the base is in starting from Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Ah, so, okay. hmm. but, but just to give you an example, how you get them busted because the reason hmm. if I we have go, seen your video, yeah, hmm. if we go if we go to Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. You will see that Elif. all all the letters. There is a videos made by the guy. His name Nu'man Khan. If no, if you know him, as an example, yes. Nu'man Khan, when he tried to show you the miracle of number Ar Rahman, so he yes. count he count Ar Rahman as the following. This is Ar Rahman. So he say yeah. Ar Rahman is written like this, and I will I will type it as he himself he wrote it in Arabic in his video. Mm -hmm. He say yeah. Al Bim. He divide Ar Ra to two Ra. And then, rah, and then there's an alif there, mm -hmm. is a, and then the letter noon. So how many letters we have? I have to wait. One, uh, one, two, three, Lord. four, five, six, seven. E wait, wait, wait. Yes, one, two. 
Muslims are like few, few, few. I only th yeah seven yes yes yeah yeah. But in the Muslim calculation for Ar Rahman, they don't count the yeah. letter Ra twice, and they don't count the letter A, which means there's two letters in one word is missing in their calculation, and that would destroy everything. Secondly, mm -hmm. in the okay. name in the word Bism, Bism is not exist. There's nothing. It's called Bism. There's an Alif. Mm -hmm. There's an Alif. If we go in the yeah. Quran, you see, I can show you from the Quran. The Quran itself says the word Bism. Let me go to different uh, page in the Quran. Mm. And I will show you how the correct way of the word Bism is written. Only mm. in the first verse in the Quran, they change yes. it because that will make it easier to recite. So what mm. the Muslims, uh, when the Muslims uh, quote the Quran for us, they are not quoting the accurate letters here we go if you see with me here yes. this is this is the word bism in the left in chapter number one without alif but in yes. but in the chapter number 56 verse number 74 chapter 56 verse number 96 chapter number 69 verse number 52 chapter uh -huh. uh, chapter 69 verse number one and this is the first verse muhammad he received do you see uh, what is the letter there in the word bism? Let us make it. Let me make it bigger for you, so you can yeah. see the text bigger. Do you see? You see what uh, what uh, how bism appear? The ism. There is an alif. I can't. I can't. Uh, where 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 can you show? Uh, ah, I see it. Yes. yes. Yeah. At, at the ending of the. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You I, see here yeah. here in this in this letter name here. There is no a. Here we have a. Do you see it? Uh, do you uh, highlight it? I did already. Can you highlight? It's going it? to come to you. Uh, I have to wait because I uh, a few yeah. seconds. Do you see? This is the correct way not to yet, write it. Yet. So ah yes 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 yeah. Yes. So here okay, you and on the uh, let me uh, let me uh, let me highlight again. Here Bism. Yeah, I, I have seen it now. It I does have not it. have the letter yes. A. Why they made it this way? They took off the letter to make it mm. easier to pronounce because they sing it five times okay. a day. Just to make it good easier yes, for yes, singing yes. so they corrupt the quran took letters off but the real yeah, bism in yeah. arabic this is the correct way is to have mm -hmm. this letter a here so this is the mm -hmm. right way to write the word bism there's nothing in arabic it's called bism and you see here how many I verses in the quran is appearing the same way you see it mm -hmm. and those are the chapters in the front of you so all their calculation is based on fictions and lies and the mm -hmm. second you you know arabic you will notice that this is nothing but a fabrication. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Christian welcome. Prince, I have not today, maybe tomorrow. I want to speak with you about uh, Christ. Okay. But first I need to make a few questions for me, also for you, so that I can uh, get you my questions, so that you can, uh, if you are, if you want to, um, give me your answers and then I no, I will Maybe. give you an, my answers, yeah, and on air anytime you want, so everybody will hear. And if you like to accept the Christ anytime you wish, let me know. Yeah, I will speak with you. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I know you are uh, every time. I am always uh, here anyway. You can call me whatever you wish. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. And by the way, mm -hmm. this gentleman, he himself is an ex-Muslim. He was just a Muslim, and he left Islam. I think he called us last week, something like that. He left Islam. So uh, here we notice how many Muslims leave Islam every day, every day, because this is the most stupid religion ever you can imagine. And if you are a person who have a brain, there's no way you will stay in such a cult. I mean, from the first verse on the Quran, imagine there's a God who says to me that uh, in, in the name of Allah, but he is the one is talking. You are Allah. Why you are saying in the name of Allah? Aren't you Allah? And then they say to me, praise be to Allah, aren't you Allah? And then you say to me, most gracious, most merciful, aren't you Allah? And didn't you just say that already in the verse number one? Why you are repeating yourself like a, like a, like, like a recording machine? You just said this, why you are saying this again? Because you have nothing to say. Muhammad is trying to make a song, grab a music. The most gracious, most merciful, the most gracious, most merciful, the most gracious, most merciful, we got it. There's a verse always the Muslims they quote for me, which I find the most hilarious, stupid verse Muhammad he made in his career. It's called the chapter of Al Kafirun. If we go to that chapter of Al Kafirun, we will see the following. 
read with me please and laugh in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful say oh that we reject faith I worship not which you worship and nor you will worship what I worship and that you I will not worship which you have been to want to worship and nor I will worship what I worship to you you have your worship I have mine I mean this is the most stupid ever dummy chapter let me make it and let me show you why it's stupid imagine I say to you I will not eat what you I eat and I will not do eat what you eat with because I will never eat what you eat because you will never do like what I eat and I will not do eat what you eat for you do not eat what I eat and you have your food I have mine how stupid that is This is God talking. I eat not what you eat, and you will not eat what I eat. So you will not do eat what I eat because I will never do eat what you eat, and you will never eat what I eat because I eat what I eat, and you eat what you eat, and you have your food, I have mine. Thank you very much. <clears throat> this is God. And by the way, here Muhammad, he got himself busted. Because he was saying that to those who did not believe in him and later they convert to Islam. So how you say to them you will not worship what I worship and later they became a person who people who worship what he worship. You know what I mean? The ones he was talking to all of them they became Muslims later. So how you say to them you will not worship what I worship. And you will not eat what I eat. I like hummus, you don't like hummus. I'm telling you, Muhammad is very deep. Very deep. Very, very. This is the smartest person on earth. And not only that, the Muslim they say that there's an there is a there is a famous author, famous artist, famous genius, his name. Uh, 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 Bernard Cho, George Bernard Cho, he said that if the prophet was exist today, he can solve all the world problem while he's drinking his coffee in the morning. Please show me the book of Bernard Cho saying that, you liars. They fabricate quotation about famous people. They make them convert to Islam. There is no book. There is no book. Actually, Bernard Shaw, he said the opposite. He said Muhammad is a false prophet and he teaches violence. Where do you get this story from Bernard Shaw? After a Christian prince, he died. They will say Christian prince, he said, and he convert to Islam a second before he died. Just wait. If you search right now, what Bernard Shaw he said about the Prophet Muhammad, you will find thousands of articles. But ask the Muslims, where is the book? Where we can find where Bernard Shaw he said that? It's a fabrication. Muhammad he can solve all the problem in the world while he's drinking coffee. Are you sure? Well, is it Muhammad? He needed Allah and the angels and the believers and oh and Jibreel just to to help him against the fight with his wives. Hmm? The man who can solve the the earth problems, he himself cannot stand against two of his wives. They are five foot tall. So he sent them Allah. He sent them a warning. Allah is talking here. He says, "If you too turn in repentance to Him." Your heart are indeed so inclined. This is about the two wives of Muhammad. But you know what? We need to make some back back uh, background uh, actions. But if you back, but if you back each other, you women against him, Muhammad. Guess what? Guess what? Truly, truly, truly. Allah is his protector and not only Allah hold on I see from far away an angel with 600 wings is coming to give support and give hand to the Prophet in this fight with the two short women and hold on the army more army is coming 
every righteous Abdul in the world is joining the fight to fight the two short women who they are five foot tall every righteous Abdul from Indonesia from Pakistan from Taliban from Isis from Al Qaeda everybody coming to support the Prophet in this great battle between him and his two wives and hold on the support and more support is coming and furthermore furthermore the angels will back him up are you kidding me Muhammad he can solve the problems of the world and he need all the support to solve a problem with his two wives Allah the angels the believers and Jibreel all is busy in one side and Muhammad and his wives in one side let us make it as a drawing you know me you know me I am an artist by birth what I can do I mean I cannot resist the temptation of, of a drawing by the way in school I used to have the worst grade in drawing the worst always I lose a lot of a grade in drawing I was the worst literally but what we can do I mean uh, I, I after I start reading stories of Muhammad uh, my drawing get improved a lot I became very well, well known artist so now we have we have Muhammad here this is Muhammad this is his bum and those are his legs and here we have two wives of Muhammad Aisha and Hafsa Aisha is six years old girl you know in small short but she is scary obviously huh? and she is holding a toy here in her hand okay and she is threatening Muhammad with a toy with the Barbie and here there's Hafsa this is Hafsa and obviously Hafsa she have a big belly you know she ate too much sausages so here Muhammad cannot make her bread net what she can do so she have to use sausages to fill up the belly so here we have two women it, uh, one child and one woman Hafsa and, uh, and and Aisha and we have Muhammad in this side Muhammad now is in a in a war so he have his sword in his hand takbir you know the sword is here against the two women the women are threatening him with shoes and all what women they use in war field and you can imagine what is that shoes high heels you can name it and now Muhammad he is saying if you don't repent Allah is behind me Allah is bigger Allah is big and he have a shin remember this is the shin of Allah okay and he have two hands in the right side this is Allah he don't have right he don't have hands in the left side remember that and now not only that we have Jibreel and Jibreel he is so big he have 600 wings 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 the wings of the Jibreel is all over and he is coming for help and not only that we have one billion Abdul, billion Abdul, 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 all over Abdul, 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 Abdul. One billion Abdul coming from everywhere: Pakistan, Taliban, Shariban, Khariban, Faritan, Sharitan, Fartan, you name it. And then in the top of that, thousands and millions of angels coming from everywhere, flying from the sky, coming to support in the fight. Angels, 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 angels. Look at the angels. Coming from everywhere, flying with their wings in the sky. I see them, I see them, I see the cloud, I see a storm. It's coming now. I come in. Oh, this is not a storm, those are angels, so we cannot see the sun. They cover the sun with their wings, they are so big and so powerful, and they are even using solar energy to fly. Allahu Akbar, gold, Maradona is there. Maradona, Maradona is coming, Maradona, Maradona, and gold. And now Muhammad is going to shoot. Muhammad is going to shoot and Aisha she did not know what to do because the team has became so big and they are so small they are two against all this army what they can do and Muhammad now is going to shoot and the, and, and now it is his turn to teach him how to behave and goal Muhammad he shoot his ball and he destroy Aisha and Hafsa Allahu Akbar this is what you do my friend when you fight with Maradona This is this is the guy who can solve the problem in the world. Hmm?
this is your prophet who solved the problem of the world in two seconds or two minutes drinking coffee the first of all Muhammad don't drink coffee Muhammad drink camel urine hey, by the way we have copyright over this drawing don't try to print it and put it in your wall and send it as like you I know you will try to put it in auctions I know many of you they copy my art which is beyond imagining look at this art look at this art Alhamdulillah Allah, he made me an artist. Any comment? Yeah, I will put a sign. I will put a sign. Let me put my signature there. Let me put my signature. I will use a black ink because last time I used a brown. Mr. Brown from England, he claimed that this is his paint why because it's signed with the brown hmm so let me let me sign it here okay this is my signature here we go if you are a hero try to set it let us see how you can do that do we have any abdul This is a religion and this is what is that this is this is science my friend the science of a family how to solve a problem with your wives what do you do we threat them if you don't behave and obey me Allah will back me up Jibreel will back me up every believer will back me up every terrorist in the world will back me up Any Abdul? Hello? Let us see if Abdul trying to call me because I see many notifications in uh, in Skype. Please don't call me unless you are Abdul. Abdul are my customers. Abdul come first. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm a Muslim by the way. Let's call this gentleman. <coughs> Answer, my friend. You asked me to call you. Why you ask me to call you if you will not answer? Hello. Yes. Yes. Do you want me to show you? The, this is you again. Uh, this is you again. Yes. Do you want me? You to are show the you one. The you are the one who his father is a black and his mother is a black, but you are white. No. My father. My parents come from. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. I'm done with you. I want somebody, an adult. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Hello. 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 How are you? Hey, Karim. How are you? Fine. What's you? What, what do you What do you think about the Muslim? They claim that Quran is full of science, my friend. Is that true? That Quran is full of science. Quran is uh, the book of science, not uh, science. It's just making some. Some uh, so, uh, sometimes uh, some some too much about science. He is, he is not expert in science. He is a book of angels. Can you close any applications that are open because your voice is cutting? But but so what do you mean? You mean the Quran is teach? Uh, there is science in the Quran. We can find science in the Quran. We can find some uh, some some uh, some truth about science. Like some, what? Like what? Like uh, the expansion of universe. Well, explain to me the universe according to the Quran. How does your Quran explain the universe? Go ahead. Can you go to this the verse uh, that speak about the expansion of universe and, and let's discuss it? Which one? Which one? There's many. 
Okay, Mu'asya'un. Here we go. This is about yes. about the, uh, this one explain the universe. No, it, it Are you sure? that we created. We created the we created the sky hmm. and we are expressing it. Okay, the verse here is saying that Allah He created the sky by His hands. Is that accurate? Yes, by His power. How you can build the sky by the hands? <clears throat> are you are you just you change it not to attribute of Allah? This guy this the the size no. You see, in the translation, the Muslim they took the the word hand and they replace it with power, right? Yes, yes, it okay. is mean power. So, so is that, is that literally or this is metaphorically verse? It depends. There is a difference. Some 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 scholars say it is literal. Some scholars say it is. But, but uh, this is not our subject. Okay, our no subject problem. In the same no. chapter, in the same chapter, it says, and from everything we created things in pair. Do you agree with that? What is the pair of the sun? What do you, what do you understand by the pair? Well, here it says he speak about the sun, right? He explained to you how he made the 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 creation, and here we go. He says that uh, uh, and we instructed the sky by hands, and then he says and we made the earth flat for you, correct? Yes. Okay. Is the no, earth no, no. Is, is the earth flat? About the part of, of the, about the planet, the whole earth. Oh, uh, what is the proof? Do you have a proof that the planet he's not talking about the whole earth? Because in Arabic it says, Well, Ardu Farashnaha, and you are Moroccan, you speak Arabic. Well, Ardu Farashnaha, Fina'mul Mahidun. He make it as a bed, actually, even it says Al Mahidun, correct? So the earth is all the whole earth is a, the whole earth is a spread out, Farashnaha, like, like bed, right? We made it like a bed. Uh, so we are the best of making bed. So the Quran is speaking about the earth. He didn't say some of the earth. My friend, this street, is it the earth or not? This street, is it flat or uh, the, uh, this street that you are working? Is it flat no, or it's, is it, no, uh, no, it, no, it's not because I am too, no, 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 because I am too small. So for me, for me, because of my size, it is it is a flat for me, but if, if 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 we bring someone is in the size of a mountain, he will not see the earth is a flat. As an example, if you go, if you if me myself, I go in the airplane right away when the airplane is going up, we are not even going so high. Right away, we will notice that the earth is not a flat no more. We are just like a kilometer high from the airport, and right away we'll notice the earth is not a flat no more. Why? What happened? It's just a change of position because we are too small in the ground, so we see it as if it's a flat, but it's not a flat. Okay, can you show me a verse in the Quran? Can you show me in the verse in the Quran claiming that I am not saying the truth? Where in the Quran it says the earth is not a flat? I will, I will, I will tell you. Hmm. You, you, uh, uh... You cover on the night on you cover on the night on the night. That's wonderful. You, you remember, you are the one who chose this verse, not me. So I hope you will not take it back. Okay. Let, 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 Explain uh, to me what you, what you cover on the night on the night mean. Let's finish this verse. Yeah, yeah. You, you are the one who's giving me a verse because this verse you gave me is proving Muhammad to be a false prophet again. Why? Because it says you cover on the night on the night and you cover on the night on the night. How is that happen? Explain so, to us. The, 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 uh, the day and the night, you see, it is, uh, it is uh, how you say in, uh, in English, you cover. Mm, go around. Go around. Go in cycle. Okay. The, mm. Okay. The only way, the only way, if, if, we, if we assume that the earth is flat, you cannot have the, uh, the day and the night are, uh, are in circle. The okay. only way it is the, the 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 day and the night, it is in the earth. If the earth is not is not is not a circle, uh, the the day and the night cannot be. All right. If we go earth. if we go in the Quran, my friend, if we go in the Quran, does the Quran says that the night and the day will never meet together? Show me the verse and let us understand it. Yes, he said it, but you, you misunderstood it. You can explain it to me. Go ahead. Okay. So the verse. Hmm. In chapter, let us go to this one first. It says that Allah is the one who created for you 
what is in heaven the heaven and the earth in six days and then he mounted in his throne he covered the night with the day which he has to follow is that an accurate Show me the Arabic course. So your God is saying that the Layl and the Nahar they chase each other. Is that correct? Yes, they chase. They chase, they chase, but that means that the Layl, which means the night, and the day, they are uh, object by themselves. They exist as something real. He didn't. This is your, your, your understanding. No, I am not my understanding. Let us go to the different verse in the Quran. Let us show you. Here we go. We, no, hold on. We, 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 wait, wait, wait. You know, we, we, will, we will show you more verses and we will see. Okay. okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Are you saying by. Okay. Chapter 21, chapter 21, verse number 33, it says that the night and the day and the sun and the moon, they are floating in an orbit. Do you believe in that? Yes, this is scientifically approved. How, how the sun and the day and the night and, and, the, and, the, and the day are floating in an orbit. Is the day is an orbit? What is the orbit of the day? What is the orbit of the night? It's in the front of you, chapter 21, verse number 33. It is he who created for you the night and the day and the sun and the moon. They float each in an orbit. The, the Quran confirm that he consider that the moon and the sun and the day and the night as object and they float in an orbit. You can hear Allah talks about the sun and the moon. It is He who is in, in the orbit and not the day and the night. No, they are saying all they float. Do you see the word cool in Arabic? You speak Arabic. You cannot you cannot play you can play games with me. Yes. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. Does it say cool? Okay, Kulumada, Kulumada, Kuluma Sabak, Kul, Kulun. He count for us. He count a layl, he count the night. Okay, what if we go and see the interpretation? To the, uh, the moon and the, and the, and the sun. Hmm. The this moon and the true. sun, no. It doesn't say the moon and the sun. It says he is the one who created the day and the night and the moon and the, and, and the, and the sun and, the, and the, the moon. So Allah created the night, correct? You see, he starts with the night. He and created the, the night, correct? After... Did he create the night? Yes. Okay. Did he create the day? Yes. Did he create the sun? Yes. And he created the moon? Yes. And then it says kulun, which means each. Is that correct? It, but it doesn't mean it's applied to all. No, of it's applied for yeah, all. Who are you to say? Okay, can you can you challenge me to prove it wrong? Can sorry. you challenge me? Which interpretation you like me to read for you to show you that this is for each? Are you saying this sun doesn't go to in orbit? My friend, the sun does not know this because here, speaking about the day and the night, that have nothing to do with the sun going in orbit. Uh, you know, let me ask you: Do you understand the Quran better than your prophet? Do you do you understand the Quran better than your prophet? Hold on. Do you understand the Quran better than your prophet? Why you don't? Why you don't want to talk about this? Abdul, do you understand the Quran? Do you understand the Quran better than your prophet? Say yes or no. This is America from God. Well, I am asking you: Do no you understand? Do you understand the Quran better than your prophet? Either you say yes, I understand it better than Muhammad, or you say no, I don't. Friend, let us see you see you, you don't want to answer but what if i show you how muhammad yeah. explain uh, how your prophet muhammad explain the orbit of the sun do you want to see it so here we go your hold on your prophet explain the orbit of the sun according to your prophet the orbit of the sun is the sunset orbit according, of the sun according to the quran did the sun the hadith in the front of you my friend are you saying to me that your prophet he was doing poopoo when he spoke uh, mute mute you too, please, because the my voice is coming twice. Because the my voice is coming. Mute you too. Okay. Okay. Once okay. I was with the prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset. The, the sunset. prophet said, "Mute you too, please." Okay. 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 Did you mute it now? Yes. Okay. So let us see who is the one here can explain the science of the Quran. You or Muhammad? 
Allah, once I was with the Prophet in, uh, in the mosque at the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, Oh Abu Dhar, do you know Abu where Dhar. you did not mute YouTube, my friend? Mute YouTube, my friend. Wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Do you know where the sun set? I replied. But still, I hear myself. What's wrong? What's happening? I muted. I don't know. Okay. okay. Maybe there's a delay in the sound. The sun set. I replied. Allah and His Apostle know best. He said it goes and prostrate under the throne of Allah. And this is what Allah He meant in His statement that the sun runs in its a fixed term that's the orbit you are talking about and he is quoting for you chapter 36 verse number 38 so according to your prophet the orbit of the sun is every day sun going from the east to the west and that is the orbit of the sun what kind of a prophet he say that are you there Show me the Arabic one. No problem. We show you the Arabic one. Here we go. قال كنت مع نبي الله نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في المسجد عند غروب الشمس فقال يا أبا ذر أتدري أين تغرب الشمس فقلت الله ورسوله أعلم قال إن فإنها تذهب تحت حتى تسجد تحت العرش فذلك قوله تعالى والشمس تجري لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم Do you see it? So your prophet explained what the orbit of the sun is. Your prophet, he believed that the day, the reason we have day and night is not because, you know, what you are claiming. He is saying that the sun... It's just about... The, it's just... Uh, you just uh, talk about this sun in in uh, in uh, in the world that we don't see. What? He didn't. He didn't. Uh, did anyone see the, the throne? The throne of Allah. The throne of Allah. Can you see it? No, we did not see it. I did not see it myself because I don't believe so you have a throne. Prophet, Allah told the prophet something that you didn't see. Yeah, my friend. So the prophet hmm. doesn't explain it about what you see. Right. Okay, but he is saying he is claiming that the sun is the one is going. The sun is going. He is not saying the earth is going around itself because the day and the night is not happening because the day is coming over the night and the night is going over the day simply just because the earth is going around itself. Do you agree? He didn't mention anything about the day. No, he agreed. No, he mentioned. He said where the sun goes. Read with me carefully. This is a different hadith. This is Sahih too. The prophet oh. asked me at the sunset. Do you know where the sun goes? Does it say where the sun goes? Yes, but okay. Say okay. It where the sun goes according it's to you? Where, where is the sun goes according to you, my friend? Where the sun goes according to your prophet? The sun goes every day. He is explaining to us how the sun rays, how the sun set. Correct. So he says that the sun goes and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. Yes, this is in 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 the world that we don't see. Where is the throne? Where is the throne of where is the throne of Allah located? Is that true that the throne of Allah is in the top of the water? Is the throne this, of Allah? This, this is, is the point. Is no the one, throne no of is the throne? No, we know, we know. Is the throne of Allah way is located in the top of the water? Show me. I like it when Muslims they keep saying to me, "Show me." Each time I say something, they say to show me. Look like they never heard of anything about the religion. You are an Arab. You speak actually you are Morocco, not an Arab. I and, know and, it. I and, know and it. you say to me, you say to me, "Show me." I mean, what are you talking about? What do you mean you're talking about me? Here we go. Where is the throne of Allah? Read it. You know, I need you to learn something. You need to say from now on, say say to me, show me, silence me, answer me. I mean, come on, do it in the right way. So as you see here, the throne is upon the water. And this is why the Quran is saying in different verse that the sun set in the murky water. That is the water which entered the throne where of Allah. Say, where he said this had the water. It says upon the water. Don't you see it? He's a throne upon the water. 
وعرشه على الماء And yes. this is and But this which, is even which, which and this water? is and this is, uh, you which tell me water? I don't know which water which water Allah is this, uh, uh, by the way here by the by the way here there's a mistake here 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 Abdul notice with me here there's a stupid mistake your 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 prophet he did did you notice what is a mistake hmm? did you notice what is a mistake because 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 your your God here we go read with me this way this sir I said Allah messenger. Where was our Lord before he created his creation? Where was what? Where, you are the one who said to me, where is Allah? Do you know where the throne of Allah? Let's see what happened. Where was our Lord before he created his creation? He said, he was above the cloud, below which was air, and above which was air and water. And then he created his throne above the water. Do you see it? Yes, but okay, hold on. How this has happened? How this is before he created the creation? Yet there is water and there's a cloud and there is air. He just said to him, Be how where was Allah before he created his creation? But yet he is claiming because, that before he created anything, creation, there is not just one creation. My friend, doesn't matter before he created his creation, it all the creation. Matter. No, no, before he created his creation, it's mean before he created anything, and yet he says. That Allah, He was above. Okay, so so do you agree with your prophet that above? Okay, do you agree, do you agree? Do you agree with your prophet that above Allah there is air, and underneath of Him there is air and there is water? Yes, but we okay. don't. We don't. So this is so this is so this is this is where the sun set, correct? The sun set in the murky water, correct? He didn't. He didn't tell about anything about this sun here. No, he did not. He did. Here we go. We can show you. This is your prophet saying the sun set in a murky water. But, but you you cannot you cannot take two hadith and miss them. No, we have Which because because no no here different. we go here we go. I was sitting. This is not two hadith. This is the same story. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. This guy always he sit behind. He cannot trust Muhammad to sit in the front in the donkey, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, "Do you know where this set?" I replied. Allah and his apostle know best. He said he's it's set in a spring of warm water. Do you see it? I, I don't see it. Uh, just wait wait the uh, intelligence. Mm. He said that he created the throne above the water. Is this the one that you are talking about? My friend, does he say that the sun set in a spring of warm water? Yes or no? I didn't I didn't see this sun here. Can you highlight it? It says, it says, I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. I was riding the donkey. He said, while the sun setting, he said, do you know where this is set? Speaking about the sun. I replied, Allah and his messenger and his apostle knows best. He said it's set in a spring of warm water. Yes, but this is the point. The water that he took here, it's not the, the water. Ah, he this is different water. Ah, it, okay. So this is different water. Yeah. Okay, no yeah, problem. So do you water. agree that the sun set in the murky water? You see the word Hamia. He talk about the verse in the Quran that uh, Dul Qarnayn. Yes? Right, right, yeah. So, the, do you agree with Then him? You go to the verse. Do you agree with him when he said that Alexander the Great he found the sun sitting in the murky water, in a hot murky yes. water? You agree? Yes. Do you know? Do you, do you know who who found it? It's not God. It's the but your prophet so is saying no, it's but your prophet, you see, your prophet here is not talking about this in the grade. He says to him, Do you know what it said? Speaking about the sun, uh, so he confirmed the same story. No, he no, he just he just repeats what the Quran said. Uh, no problem. The Quran repeat what the Quran said because the Quran reporting what Zul Qurnain he found, right? Yes, okay. Now, so here, if, if here, 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 Muhammad, do you see Muhammad? Okay, do you see? Oh, he do you do you see Muhammad saying that Zul Qurnain he thought the sun setting, or he is saying to him nothing about Zul Qurnain, and he is saying, Do you know where the sun set? Yes, but 
He said, no, I do not know. Allah and his messenger knows best. He said, it's set in the spring of murky water. So you're a prophet in total agreement with the Quran, in total agreement of the story of Zulqarnayn, that the sun set in the murky water. It just repeating what the Quran says. My friend, thank you very much. I have no time to waste with, you know, either, either you, are, you decide to be honest and speak to me or there is no time. There's no need to, you know, it's everybody is laughing. Correct, guys? Isn't it, isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? You are lying now. Don't waste my time. You want to lie? It's okay. There's no point of us talking. Lie to yourself. But you cannot lie to us. You cannot lie to us. No, no, don't call me back. Don't call me back. I have no time for people who want to lie. That's it. The second you start fabricating lies, everybody, it's in the front of us. Muhammad saying clearly that the sun set in a spring of water. That is enough proof for us that Muhammad is nothing but a false prophet. And this is in total agreement with the Quran in chapter 18, where he says that Alexander the Great, he went all the way and he found where the sun set next to the water, in the, in the, in the murky water. And even he found next to it people who live there. And we can go and read the interpretation and all of them, they agree with that. So what the Muslims they do in order to avoid the madness and the stupidity of their prophet, they go in denial and they start to playing games. But you cannot do that because they have a brain. They are seeing, they are reading. He, he explained to us in many places where the sun set, where the sun set. He keeps saying the sun goes, so the sun goes, the sun goes. So, and this is very false. The sun goes nowhere. Where the sun goes? The sun goes nowhere. Why are you are calling me, Karim? You know that you are lying. Why are you so un Why you are lying? Isn't it in the front of you? It says that he he said he confirmed that the sun set in the murky water. Yes or no? Yes, ac according to the view of the there is no, there is nothing wrong here. What do you we, mean nothing? Uh, accor to, according to the view of who? According to the view of your prophet? The prophet see the sun when you go to when you go to the bed so you're but a prophet you see, see so you're a prophet so you're a prophet here you are saying the prophet he thought that the sun set in the murky water but he is being a fool no my friend there is no wrong in that linguistically there is nothing wrong with that what do you mean linguistically it's in the front of you your prophet saying the sun set in the murky water do you, do you agree with him or you don't agree yes yes i agree but this is in the view of, of the one who see the sun in in uh, the beach uh, uh, for, for example <laughs> let's go what if you he's saying this is where it's set not in the view he voluntarily volunteered to be a teacher do you know where the sun set he's asking the guy do you know where the sun set it's not the guy asking him it looked like appeared to us like this. Do you think it's this is way? No, Muhammad voluntarily saying, Do you know where the sun said? The guy he said, I do not know. I am an ignorant. Teach me, Prophet. Allah and his and you will notice here that always they claim that Allah and his apostle knows best because Muhammad knowledge is from the knowledge of Allah. So this is not Muhammad is speaking by himself, he is speaking by the authority of Allah. Allah and his apostle know best. So when Muhammad is speak, he don't speak his own view, he speak the view of Allah. And by the way, we mentioned before that this is nothing but a poetry. Muhammad, he quoted from the Arab. The Arab, they have a poet speaking about the same thing. And Muhammad is quoting the poet of the Arab. And actually, this is a poet made by an Arab Christian. Where it says, بلغ المشارق والمغاربة يبتغي أسباب أمر من حكيم مرشدي فرأ مغيب الشمس عند مآبها في عين ذي خلب وثأط حرقدي Muhammad, he took the poetry as it is. He put it in the Quran. He arrived to the east and the, and the west as he wished, speaking about Alexander the Great. And he being given from everything the wisdom and the power. And then when he found the sun sitting in its place, he found it sitting in a murky, muddy water. It's a stolen poetry. Muhammad, he took it from an Arabic Christian. He put it in the Quran. And the poet man, his name, Umayyah ibn Salt. Fabrication, liars, and lying. Islam, nothing but a scam. Yet they fabricate tons of fabricated miracles to make us believe 
that Quran contains science, when the Quran contains nothing but fiction and stupidity, flying carpet, a birds who they look for women have no hair in their legs, the ring of Solomon control the genie and the demon. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, Solomon he walked in the valley of the ant and he heard the ant speak, but the ants don't speak. The ants they communicate, but by not by that speech. So the man he heard the voice of the ant and he understand the ant. But Allah the funny, the Quran says we taught him the language of the bird. So Allah he taught him the language of the bird, but he understand the ant. Isn't it that funny? Madness and stupidity. Do we have any Muslim? He wanna try to be honest for one second. Anyone? Nobody. Uh, as an example, why the birds they fly in the sky? Muhammad he explained that the birds they are in the sky because Allah hold them from falling down. Look like your God, he never heard of something called wings and what the wings can do. Who is holding the birds in the middle of the sky? Who? Allah. Look at this idiot. Muhammad even he explained how the shade is exist. Who is the one who made the shade extend? It's Allah. He created the shade and he made the shade extend. Wallahu ja'ala lakum mimma khalaqa dhilalan. It is Allah who made for you from what he created shade. Well, what does that mean? We go on different verse, we see Allah is explaining more. Which is showing us that Muhammad and his God do not know what they are talking about. Yes? Yes, we hear you. How are you? I'm all right. What do you want to say to us, my friend? Do you agree that Allah is the one who extended the shade? Can we talk about Christianity? No, my topic is about Islam, my friend. Always your topic is in Islam. Can because, you this is my, because this is my specialty, what I can do. You know, this is my specialty. You go to the eye doctor, he speak about the eye. You go to the to the to the tooth doctor. He speak about the tooth. My specialty is Islam. You want? We have a brother. His name is Sam Shamoon. He opened his channel. He speak about Christianity only. Go ahead and talk to him. What do you want to say to me? And by the way, why in why why in the why in the Quran Allah never mentioned the word Christianity? Do you know what? Why your God Allah never mentioned the word Christian in the Quran? He doesn't need it because it is where because in the Quran. For, uh, no, where in the Quran it says the word Christian? I want to see it. In Arabic, the word Christian wait, wait. is Al Masihi. Where we can find in the Quran the correct name of the Christians. Where we can find that? How come your God, even that name, could not cor quote correctly? Who is Nasara? We never heard of somebody called Nasara. Who is Nasara? We are not Nasara. We are Christians. So what? So I'm why your God? Why your God? You even about... even what kind of God? He can't even quote a simple name correctly. Isa, we do not know who is Isa. Nasara, we do not know who is Nasara. Harun, Harun is the brother of Moses, and he is the brother of Mary. Who is that? Mary is the daughter of Amran. Who is Amran? Who is Amran? Just because you don't know it doesn't mean it doesn't No, we know, it. we know, we know. We have the names of them in the you Bible. How nothing. how Mary she became the daughter of Amran? And by the way, even the name of the father of Moses and 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 Aaron and Miriam, the sister of Aaron, your prophet could not call it correctly because there's nothing is called Amran in the Bible. There's Amram. 
So why your prophet even cannot quote an, a, a, a simple name correctly? Is that God? Who is the Qalat Imra'at wa Imran? Who is Imran? If I ask you right now, your book, is it a perfect book? What do you say? Is the Quran a perfect Quran? Yes. Okay. The Quran says Israel. Who is Israel? The people who follow uh, Moses. Who? The people who follow the Prophet Moses and uh, Jesus after him. Israel is the people who follow Moses. No, Israel is the children of Israel. The guy, his name Israel. They are not the children of Moses. This is wrong. Who I is? I didn't see the children. I see I'm the asking followers. you, who is Israel? The Quran says, "Oh, children of Israel, not the children of Moses." Who is Israel? It is the people who live at the time. My of the friend, Moses. are you are you are you are you, are you drunk? If I say to you, oh, children of Ahmad, and I am asking you who is Ahmad, don't tell me the people, the people, people. Who are they, those who they are, the children of Israel, who their father, his name is Israel. Who is Israel? Do you, do you know why Allah, he didn't talk about him? Because Allah, he focused on the people of Israel and so, not in Israel himself. No, my friend, no, my friend, Allah, no, my friend, no, my friend, your, your God, he focused on Israel himself. What are you talking about? You are an ignorant like your prophet. No, Israel, yes, no. Okay. Israel, are you say, are you saying to me? Are you saying to me that your your God never mentioned Israel as a person? He, he can mention it, but the people who follow Moses, did he mention Israel as a person? Yes or no? Did he mention Israel as a person? Yes or no? Show me, show me the verse you keep saying to me, it. show me, you can show me, show me. I'm asking you, did he mention I, Israel I, as a person I, I by himself? You talk about the children of Israel. I am asking you, did your God speak about Israel as a person? It may be, I don't, I didn't know. Uh, maybe, There's maybe. Okay, a... so now if I want to know if the Quran is a perfect book as you claim, how I will know who is the guy, his name is Israel. All those verses mention Israel in front of us. How I will know who is Israel? You say to me, all the show sons. Me, you say to me, you say to me, the, all the all the sons of Osama bin Laden. Shouldn't you first introduce to me Osama bin Laden? No, not necessarily. Okay, no, what mean necessarily? So, what can what can Laden. what kind of a book he say something to me and not necessarily to tell me where you get the name from? How I will know as a Muslim who is Israel? Because the subject he talk about his children and not himself. But shouldn't you tell me, okay, who is this guy? They are the children of a guy, his name is Israel. Who is Israel? But but who are the people who did the actions? It is the his, and he his himself he did an action. Him. He himself he did an action too. Israel, who is Israel? Why you why your God? He cannot even tell us who is Israel. I want to know. I have an interest to know who is Israel. You keep saying to me, children of Israel, who is Israel? Just show me the verse that this he talk about the Israel himself. Where is the verse? So are you saying to me there is not even one verse in the Quran speaking about Israel himself? This is what I understand because all the verses. Okay, I let me get you busted. Here we go. Here we go. Chapter chapter three, verse number ninety-three. It says that all the food was lawful to the children of Israel except what Israel made unlawful for himself. Do you see it? So Israel is a person and those are his children and now he's saying that all the food made lawful for Israel except what Israel he made law unlawful for himself. You, you so who is this guy is Israel? So who is this guy? Who is who is this guy is who is this guy Israel he's talking about now? Before you have an excuse saying, well he's not talking about Israel, okay? So now here we go. He's talking about a guy. His name is Israel. Who is this guy, Israel? It is, it is the one who gives birth to the children of Israel. That's wonderful, guys. The, the bear is the one who gave more bears. <laughs> guys, I, look I at this. Israel, Israel the brother is the one who gave birth to the children of Israel. I mean, this is a genius of you. I don't care who is this guy. 
Who is Israel? He is the guy who gave birth to the children of Israel. We get that. What's the point? Who, the point is, this is a stupid book. No, my man. No, well, in order to tell me who is, in order to tell me about a guy, first you have to introduce him. You don't say to me, Israel, he, he made it unlawful. How I will know who is this guy now? I will tell you why. Do you know why? Why? Because because the Quran, when he talk about this story of of uh, the past of the prophets that can came uh, before the prophets, mm. it, it, it it doesn't matter the the the, the people. Okay, okay, okay. You are now a Muslim and you came after Muhammad. I ask you, who is Israel? You do not know who is Israel. Quran when he talked about this story. Oh, but, 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 no, no, who is Israel? I am asking you, you after, you after 1400 years, story. after 1400 years of Muhammad, do you know who is Israel? Do you agree with me? That's the, the watch. Let's go, man. I'm wasting my time. Garbage in, garbage out. And they say to us, this is a book made in clear details. Who is Israel? In order to know who is Israel, you have to go to the to the Bible. So Quran and Islam is not a religion by itself. It depends on others. And as long as you are saying to me that the others, their books are corrupt, that means Islam have to be based on corrupt. Stupid book. Imagine you are reading a story written by a man, anyone, an author. He wrote a story. And then in the story, he did not mention to you who is the, the, the character he's talking about. Are you going to wonder who is this guy? Suddenly he appeared in the story. Hello? Hi, Christian friends. I'm back. Yes, my friend. Uh, I just call because I don't want to listen the whole day to a child, also to children. Uh, I stay to the topic and give you some things what I found. I'm already convinced that, uh, that they are just lies, but... Uh, the people who are uh, here listening can uh, maybe they can a little bit learn from you. Yes. All right. Okay. In uh, Quran, ninety six fifteen as a uh, surah ninety ninety six fifteen up to th uh, sixteen. There are uh, the word Nasia, and um, uh, today they uh, claim that Nasia mean. Um, the front side of you said Quran 96 you said Quran 96 96 yes okay go ahead uh, 15 16 uh, that are the um, verse okay what about them they claim that Nasia 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 yeah would, yeah would mean <laughs> as a front side of the brain hmm. do you see in the front of us even the, even their own translation get them busted it says the forelock the forelock is the hair of the front of the head yeah, yeah. so it's not the brain have nothing to do with the brain it's a stupid thing and here yeah, what it but... says that Allah will drag him from that location can you drag him from the brain no you drag him from his hair the <laughs> forelock so you know and then how you can have a forelock which is, 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 is sinful and lying how the for how the how the hair is sinful and how the hair is li is is lying, you know, <laughs> but yet they try to fabricate the meaning and try to make it as a, as a science because they they try to make it as it's a, about the front head of the the front of the head where the brain is located and they say this is where uh, lying is created supposedly according to them, and here we go the Quran speaking about mm. that but the fact no all what he is saying that you know we are going to drag them from there and by the way even it says that Allah will put up in their buttocks. He will put a flag in the ass of everybody. <laughs> yeah, in the judgment day. I have seen it. Yeah, Truth. and then he will drag Truth. them from their uh, uh, sinful forelock because mm. uh, simply, according to the Quran, uh, uh, uh. You, you will know them from their uh, their forelock. The reason for that, by the way, mm. the Arab, uh, Muhammad, he was trying to do or trying to make his followers look differently. If you, yes. if you notice, uh, if you notice Muhammad as an example, he forbid the Muslims from coloring uh, their hair yeah uh, with the black yeah why he forbid them from coloring black because the jews yes uh they color their hair with the black okay, so okay. muhammad he said to them don't color like the jews so he decided to color them with, with red mm. so now they are redhead you know crazy yeah so uh uh uh, uh, uh if you if you color like the jews you became a jew 
if you remember there's a story Muhammad always tried to make himself and his followers look different because people accuse him that he is stealing from the Jews and the Christians so yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. uh, 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 once uh, a Jewish a Jewish rabbi was walking by mm -hmm. and he saw Muhammad yes. uh, praying in a funeral yeah. and uh, he said to Muhammad uh, let us read the hairs together I don't know if you see the screen you see it we uh, the prophet said no 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 you are uh, searching okay now it's similar tradition okay okay the messenger of Allah S A W S Mercedes Benz used to stand up for a funeral no 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 I'm not uh, there I have it's okay. It's, it's going. It's going to come to you. It's okay. 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 Uh, stand up for a funeral until the crops was placed on the grave. So this is what he used to do. He would do. Mm -hmm. He stand up in the funeral until the crops was placed in the grave. A learned yes. Jew, a learned Jew, which means a rabbi. Yeah. Once passed by him, and he said, "This is how we do it." And right uh, away, Muhammad, he said, look what he said. Look at his reaction. Uh, he said, the prophet said, S-A-W said, sit down, sit down, sit down, act differently <laughs> from them. What the heck? Crazy. You know, if this is Crazy. a guy, he's a prophet, he's inspired by God, and he do what God taught him. How in the oh. world, just because I said to you, this is how we do it, you change the way you pray. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Obviously, you are fabricating your own prayer. And he now he he felt like he got busted. Oh, the Jews are saying to me, "This is how we do it," which means you are doing it like us. You are copying yeah, from uh, us. So because he is guilty, right away. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I am am a prophet and this is how God told me to do, and this the Jewish do it, so so what? I would say this is what God told me. You know, as yes. He told you. But because he's a liar, he knew he's a liar. He was willing to change the way he pray in a mm -hmm. second. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Let us act differently. <laughs> how a childless behavior it is. But I can't understand how so much people think that don't know it. That's my friend. People are watching my videos yes. and they are leaving by thousands, yeah, thousands. Oh, yeah. Thank you, my I friend. I can I can stay longer. I apologize from you. I can stay okay. longer. Really, I appreciate your call. So thank you but for calling. Please, you can one call second. Me. One second, if it's possible. One yeah. second. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, first, um, uh, I uh, um, buy your two books in German, yes? All right. But it's not uh, already there in the book about science. Mm. Yeah. There I will get all that information which we are talking about today. Okay. All right. For example. That's right? good. Okay. Thank you. All right. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Man. Thank you. Okay. We yeah. see you. Don't, don't forget mm -hmm. to make a review of the books after you finish them and make an honest review. You know, don't, don't say it's wonderful if it's not. Uh, as you see, guys, this is a, this is a very stupid religion and the claim cannot stand any question and any examination don't make people fool you it's easy to create a lie but then after you create a lie and that's what the Muslims do they have to create a thousand lie to create the to, to, to cover up the first lie but the more they try to cover the more they get their profit busted and the more we laugh at the lies of Islam Islam is nothing but a chain and a collection of lies this is how we do it. Sit down, sit down, sit down. This is how we do it. So if I was in the time of Muhammad exist, I would go always around him. Muhammad, he pray. I say, this is how we do it. Muhammad, he change it. Muhammad, he eat. I say, this is how we do it. Muhammad, he eat from his mouth. If I say to Muhammad, this is how we do it. Muhammad, he will start eating from his nose because he cannot act the same as us. We are Christians. He have to act differently. So Muhammad, he will start swallowing food from his nose. I mean, how stupid this cult is. This is how we do it. And yes, this is how we expose Muhammad and his cult. And this is how we do it. Thank you very much for being here, watching and learning. And absolutely, this is how Christian Prince, he do it. I hope you did enjoy it. Please share the videos with your friends. Ask more people to come and learn. And our education for free, for the Lord, he said, for free you took, for free you give. May the Lord bless you. And thank you for those who made donation. Christ is Lord. Islam is made by a man for the foolish man. Are you a foolish man? I am not. Thank you and see you soon again. God bless. Bye-bye.